and to get them for less than $70? How do they even survive in the first place? They're so hard to find nowadays in the condition you see them in. And once we run out of these from this great American silver dollar hoard, that'll be it at these kinds of price levels. I have no idea what silver might be in the years ahead, but I think at, at this point, this is the perfect time to acquire some of these really conditionally, really rare, really beautiful early peace dollars. The 10 coin set for only $695. Now, the grand prize. <laughs> Folks, we've got a 20 coin roll. In the 20 coin roll, we have two really special coins. Out of all those bags, we had very few of these examples. Because what we're going to add, if you get the 20 coin roll, is a 1924 P and a 1925 P. Yeah, much rarer coins. And these coins are five, six times rarer than the 23 P and the 22 P. And as you can see, the 23P at the top, they've graded around 315,000 examples in mint state. 22P, quite a bit rare, only about 200,000 in mint state. You get to the bottom there, you see some Garson City dollars that sell for three, four, five hundred dollars, folks, like the 84CC, 83CC, that are not as rare as the 25P and the 24P that we have here today. These are really, really elusive. And when you get the 20 coin roll, you get one of each. The 20 coin roll comes to $64.75 a coin. In other words, you're getting the 20 coin roll at a lower price per coin than in the 10 coin roll. So that's the deal we're giving you, $1,295 for the 20 coin roll. If you can't swing the entire $1,295 today, we offer the two payment option where all you have to do is put half down today of $647.50 and we will hold one of these rolls for you and pay the balance in 30 days. We'll hold one of these rolls for you with your name on it. By the way, we don't just stack them in rolls. We have a special clamshell type holder which, which separates the coins right. so that they don't abrade with one another. Right, it protects them from banging into each other and, and getting any damage or exact, uh, you know, heavy bag marks or anything like that. Look at this 24P, folks. Look at the feathers on the eagle. No heavy abrasion, no deep cuts or, or gouges. Again, Jack, like you said, a coin almost 100 years old struck for commerce that was dumped into a bin, one coin falling on top of another. They went through coin counting machines. They didn't receive the special kind of treatment the mint right. gives today right. for silver dollars. Right, and on top of it, they're large coins. So, I mean, there's a lot of weight when they're banging against each other. They're large. And yeah. also, it's a large flat area. So, the, anything yeah. that abrades against it, you know, you have that big open cheek and that big wide field there. The marks just, you know, it's, an e it's easy to yes. mark that yeah. area up. You look, you look at the strike detail, all the hair detail, mm -hmm. full strike in all the areas, 1925, that beautiful cartwheel luster, all for $64.75 a coin for the 20 coin roll, and you get a 24P and a 25P when you get the 20 coin roll. In other words, when you get the 20 co coin roll, folks, you're going to get nine 1922Ps nine 1923Ps and one 24P and one 25P, two extremely elusive pieces in mint state condition, all for $1,295. Jack, we got a lot of folks calling in on this. The lines are lighting up on this. This is an incredibly exciting opportunity here to get some extremely conditionally rare, beautiful peace dollars. For just under $70 a coin, it includes a 24P and a 25P, a limited time offer. Again, the only reason we're able to offer these kinds of coins with a 24P and a 25P is because when we bought that great American silver dollar hoard, there were some 24Ps in there, some 25Ps that we've been able to include in the 20 coin roll. But when those are gone, like so many of our offers in the past. We were, right. no, were no longer able to offer these kinds of sets at these prices. 
Take a look at all of these. 1922 P's, 1923 P's. The first year they were struck was 1921. The last year they were struck was 1935. There have not been any silver dollars struck for commerce since then. 1935 was the last year a coin, a silver dollar, was struck for commerce. There have been dollars struck for commerce, but they weren't silver. You had right. clad Eisenhower dollars, you had clad Susan B. Anthony dollars, but you didn't have silver dollars. These are 90% silver coins from the Renaissance era, which went, spanned the years from 1907, from the first Renaissance era coins, to 1921, which was the uh, first year of the peace dollar design. And that's what we have for you today, these beautiful Renaissance era peace dollars in mint state condition. This is where they have tremendous condition rarity. Again, I want to point this out one last time because so few of these coins have survived in this uncirculated condition. This is really, really important. I like to re refer to these peace dollars as super silver. You can see that this is just the peace dollar series. In that same year of 2012, a peace dollar set in MS-60 was around $4,000. And here we are in the latest price guide. They're almost $6,000. So they've gone up almost 50% in value despite silver dropping in value because of the rarity of these coins in mint state condition. Right, because it's all, like we said, a factor of supply and demand. A very limited supply of these coins, very That's limited. Right. And the demand just continues to increase as more people realize how undervalued these coins are. It's a limited supply. More and more of the surviving uncirculated examples are going into collector sets. They're going in for the long term. People are buying them not just for themselves, but for their kids, their grandkids. Because they're just not, it's not just about money. It's about our history. Mm -hmm. it tells the story of America. Right. These are national treasures, folks. These are coins that uh, they were struck once a long time ago, will never be struck again. And some of these are over 100 years old. Now is the time to get what we offer for you today. Get the half roll. You can get the half roll for only $695, or you get the full roll of 20 that includes the really elusive, very scarce 1924P and 1925P, the entire 20 coin roll for only $1,295. The Silver Peace Dollar, designed by Anthony D. Francisi, was created and minted to celebrate the restoration of peace after World War I had ended. For this reason, the Peace Dollar has maintained its reputation as one of America's most beautiful and symbolic coins. The silver piece dollar rolls that we are offering today come in brilliant uncirculated condition. On the Sheldon scale of grading standards, a brilliant uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of mint state 60. Each of the coins in these silver piece dollar rolls has been personally inspected by the numismatic experts here at Rare Collectibles TV to make sure that they are in stunning brilliant uncirculated condition. Mint state coins are coins that were produced for commerce. These coins are distributed from banks around the country and circulated for years. To find silver piece dollars like these that are in brilliant uncirculated condition is simply difficult to do. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. Out of all the peace dollar issues included in these rolls, three dates have brilliant uncirculated graded populations of 1% or less of their entire mintages. Now that's what Rick calls condition rarity. And now today, you can add a roll of 10 silver peace dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $695. These rolls contain five brilliant uncirculated examples, each of the 1922 and 1923 peace dollars. That's almost eight ounces of silver. But wait, there's more. You can also add a roll of 20 peace dollars to your collection for only $1,295. And listen to this, within every roll of 20 stunning peace dollars that you purchase, you will receive one example each of the rarer 1924 and 1925 peace dollars, as well as nine 1922 and nine 1923 peace dollars. 
That's over 15 ounces of silver. And don't forget, when you order a roll of 20 piece dollars, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $647.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. Call the number on your screen right now to take advantage of this special numismatic offer and bring this roll of 10 stunning silver piece dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition. Or get the roll of 20 silver piece dollars. Call now. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There is nothing I enjoy more than helping our clients build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high grade, high quality examples of certain hard to find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious private collections, coin shows, and dealer inventories across the country all to help you build a numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative you would like to be connected with a member of the Private Advisory Coin Team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack and James on Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. Benjamin Franklin, born on January 17, 1706, was a prominent founding father of the United States. His passion and dedication to our budding nation and his unresting diligence to his work were instrumental in America becoming an independent nation. Throughout his career, Franklin proved to be a prodigious inventor. He brought sight to those struggling to see through his invention of the bifocal. He warmed the homes of countless families on unforgiving winter nights through his invention of the Franklin stove. Franklin's undying interest in the sciences led him to his studies of electricity, where his monumental findings still affect our lives today. As one of the most influential Americans of the time period, Franklin was invited to be a member of the Committee of Five, whose responsibility it was to draft the Declaration of Independence. His diplomatic nature secured France as an ally during the Revolutionary War, eventually leading Franklin to his position as the United States Minister of France, where he dutifully negotiated the Treaty of Paris in 1783. This treaty ultimately aided in ending the American Revolutionary War. Unfortunately, Benjamin Franklin's life would end in 1790, but not before attending the Constitutional Convention, where he worked with other founding fathers in order to draft the document which our country is founded upon, the Constitution. In many ways, Benjamin Franklin provided the blueprint for our country to be built upon, so it's no surprise that he was chosen to be depicted on the half dollar from 1948 to 1963. The responsibility to design the Franklin half dollar fell onto John R. Sinnock, who was the eighth chief engraver of the United States Mint. The Franklin half dollar was Sinnock's final work before his death, and his most notable one as well. The Franklin half dollar was mandated by Congress for a 25-year issuance. Unfortunately, in 1964, due to the tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the Franklin half dollar was replaced after only 16 years. Here to tell you more about the 1955 to 1963 Franklin half dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. 
Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for mint state Franklin half dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about the 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. This is the first time I believe I've been able to offer this set of proof Franklin Half Dollars, this size set in the condition I have them for you today. In fact, this is the highest matching grade you can complete a Franklin set in. What I have today is a Franklin set from 1955 to 1963, the last year the Franklin half dollar was struck, in NGC proof 68 condition. That's really important because it is not possible to complete a Franklin set in proof 69 condition because some Franklins do not exist in proof 69 condition. Take a look at this set, folks. This is something that in this kind of condition, as it says there on the PCGS website, it's all about condition with the Franklin half dollars. The coins were low mintage, but to get them surviving in this kind of extraordinarily high condition, the highest grade any Franklin has ever received is proof 69. And again, there are some dates in the series have, that have never been graded higher than 68. So what you're looking at is the highest matching grade you can complete your set in. And it's almost complete. It's every date from 1955 to 1963. The only dates we don't have in this set are the earliest dates in the series, 1950 to 1954. Every one is hand-selected by me. This is a true labor of love. The uh, amount of work I have to do, I call it in, in the trenches, just looking at literally thousands of Franklins across my desk every month to be able to assemble a few sets like you're looking at right now. This is a thrill, absolute thrill. On this occasion, I'm able to include the 1955. Uh, the mintages of these proof Franklins. You've got mintages for the mid-state Franklins and the proof Franklins. The mid-state Franklins refer to the Franklin half dollars that were struck for commerce the kind of coins we use, you know, for spending. Proof Franklins are the coins that were used, struck specifically for collectors. They are meant to represent the state of the art, the highest possible quality the mint is able to produce given the technology of the day. So to do that, they will take the finest dyes, polish those dyes until they have a mirror-like perfection. They will treat the coin blanks with very special care. They will wash them and, and clean them and make sure they're the exact correct weight. And they'll slowly feed those blanks into the die and strike the coins not once but twice under higher pressure to bring out every possible detail of the design. And then very importantly, mid-state coins are only struck once and once they're struck, the mid-state coins are dumped into bins where they're braided with all the other coins. Proof coins are individually handled. They're not allowed to abrade with any other coins. So there's a lot of labor involved. And back during the Franklin era here, these coins were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. And proof making was really much more of an art, of a craft back then. And it really depended so much on the craftsmanship of the individual workers in preparing the dies, preparing the coin blanks. Nowadays, everything is pretty much automated. You know, technology has really taken over. Computers have taken over. Craftsmanship is not a big issue. And that's what makes these high-grade proof Franklins from this earlier era so valuable. It's their condition rarity. And you can see. When you get into the 1960s, they struck about 3 million proof sets a year. 
But as you go into the 50s, how fewer and fewer proof sets were struck. Back in 1955, only 378,000 were struck. Now, why is that? Well, a little bit of a historical background. Um, our country, World War II ended in 1945. You had a lot of GIs coming back who were looking for employment. Uh, our country actually went into a bit of a depression after World War II because you had all these GIs looking for work. You had our industry, car manufacturers, which had been geared to making tanks and, and, tr and trucks and uh, airplanes for the war effort, now had to gear back into making automobiles. Uh, all our industry was geared toward the war effort. And, and so industry had to go from the war effort to a retooling to a peacetime economy. That, that took several years. But eventually, as you got into the late 40s, early 50s, we really started to get in, into gear. And this is where you st saw our middle class really begin to blossom and boom. As these young middle class families, uh, uh, the men and women, they uh, married, had children. Uh, as you got into the mid 50s, you saw this middle class begin to prosper. Home ownership begin to, began to skyrocket. People were able to afford cars. They were able to afford TVs. And so more and more people were able to pursue their passions, like coin collecting. So you saw the demand for, for proof coins increase tremendously. Now, Sasha's got a couple coins to show you. Take a look at that 1961. That was a commercially struck coin. It's a mint state Franklin, struck for commercial use. It never did make it into commerce, so it's actually uncirculated. But you can see some abrasion on the coin because, again, they were dumped into bins. But it's a brilliant uncirculated coin with some light bag marks. And you'll also notice at the, at the very bottom there, because these coins were only struck once, a lot of these coins were not fully struck. So at the very bottom where there are supposed to be bell lines running horizontally across the bottom of the bell, you see at the center there that those bell lines fade out. They're, they're non-existent because the coin did not have a full enough strike to bring out all the detail of the coin. Now. Right next to it, Sasha, has a 1958 proof Franklin. And you notice the deeply mirrored fields. Again, this coin was struck from a highly polished die. And these proof dies, folks, were only used for a few thousand strikes. And then they would remove the die and repolish it or discard it and put a new die in. Whereas the mid-state Franklins, they, they might strike 20, 30, 50,000 coins before they would replace the die. And you see the deeply mirrored fields. And you'll see the full strike. Uh, you can see along the bottom there, you can see all those bell lines along the bottom running horizontally that you could not see on that mid-state Franklin. Now, at the beginning of the presentation, I, I mentioned that the proof coins were meant to represent the state of the art, the finest possible quality the mint's able to produce. However, the craftsmanship back then, the quality of the coin quite often dependent on the level of craftsmanship of the individual workers. And you take a look at that 1958, and you'll notice all the spotting all over that coin. We refer to that as milk spots. That is one of the most common problems you'll see on proof coins from this era. What that is, folks, is soap residue. Because one of the procedures back then was to take the coin blanks and wash them in a soap solution. And they were then supposed to wash out all that soap solution off the blank before it went into the dye. But if the quality control, if the craftsmanship was not as good as it should have been, quite often a lot of that soap solution was left on the coin blank when it went into the dye. And when that dye came down with 200 tons of pressure onto that blank, that residue was struck into the coin. It's part of the coin. You can't remove it. You could take a Brillo pad, folks, to remove one of those spots, and all you'll end up with is a lot of scratches all over the coin, a ruined coin, and the spot will still be there. And I write about this in my very first book, Cameo and Brilliant Proof Coinage, on page 26. I talk about milk spots. Milk spots are most often found on the silver proof issues from 1958 to 1964. They can occur anywhere on the coin, and they can be any size. Some are as small as a pinhead. They can be extremely large, however, and occasionally may cover 25% or more of the coin's surface. Now, 
A couple years ago, I bought a group of 1958 sealed proof sets. And my longtime viewers will have seen me use these sealed sets before in other presentations. Because I bought these sets, they were sealed, never had been opened. And it's, you know, it's hard to believe. It is possible to occasionally find proof sets that are 60 years old that have never been opened. Now, there are very few of those kinds of sets left, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But this was an original deal, and I bought the deal, and after I had opened 10 or 15 of the sets, every one of the halves was spotted, and I just knew it was one of those batches where, you know, whoever was working that day at the Mint wasn't doing a very good job cleaning the coin blanks. And so for my presentations, I've always, you know, opened one, one or two of these sets to show you what, exactly what I'm talking about. Now, again, I started with just about 100 sets when I had this. I'm down to around 19 or 20 unopened sets, folks. So <laughs> I'm about done with, with this, with this uh, tool, but it's a very important part of the presentation to help you understand why these high-grade proof Franklins are so special and so rare. So I've just taken a, a few of the sealed sets, the final sets that I have, Remaining, I'm going to just take one of them, and we're going to open one right here, live on the presentation. And, you know, this is the part of collecting that's so much fun, because you never know what you're going to get. You never know when you get something like this, you know, 60 years old, never been opened. We'll just cut it open at, along the top here, very carefully, so as not to... This is how the original sets came from the mint back then in these envelopes. And there would be cardboard on each side and this cellophane set would, coins would be housed like so, each in their individual compartments so they wouldn't abrade with any other coins. And you would get a little letter in here, and I always find this kind of humorous, talking about your U.S. proof coins. And you can tell by the age how it's, you know, how it's discolored at the e uh, edges there. Um, how about, about how your U.S. proof coins have been carefully inspected before release. These people, you know, had a sense of humor, I guess. Um, if there should be a de appear to be a defect on the coin, it is no doubt a crease in the polyethylene-coated cellophane in which they are encased. We tell you this to save us both unnecessary correspondence. Thank you. Uh, signed by, wasn't signed, but uh, typed out, uh, Ray V. Beaster, the superintendent at the time. I hope I pronounced her name co uh, correctly. Anyhow, we just cut out this set. Here's the set, and it looks pretty nice. It's hard to see any uh, obvious imperfections looking through the cellophane. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's take a look at this and let's see what's on this coin. Oh boy, this is uh, this is when it's hit pretty hard. <laughs> a lot of spots all over the obverse. And again, they're random. They could be any size. They could be as small as a pinhead, as I write. They could be incredibly large. The reverse doesn't have quite as many, but you see some really obvious ones. If you submitted this to grading, folks, it would grade. Uh, they might not even grade it. You have these original minages, and what's out there is what we have. That's when I when I wrote my first book, I had population estimates of how many may exist in every grade if you were to find every coin that was ever struck of that year and have it graded. And that's what's going to be on my, in my next book on the United States proof coins. Again, total population estimates as to how many may exist. Not how many were graded, but how many could possibly exist. You can't mine more of these coins. The number struck is the number there is. These are the combined populations, and you can see here uh, the minages, how many have been graded in 6, 7, and how many have been graded in the 6, 8 grade that I have for you today. And you can see that minages quite often have nothing to do with the rarity of the coin in proof 68. For example, the 58, one of the toughest states, only 2,700 coins graded. The 59, a very tough coin. The 60, a, a very tough coin. They're all really tough, folks. There are, there are times when I have zero 1958s, zero 1956s, 59s, 60s, 61s, and, or 62s in proof 68. But for this brief time, I have these complete sets in proof 68 condition. I have them at a great price. 
Here's the great thing about this set, folks. This is the highest grade matching set. I have this set at a great price that is a must buy opportunity. The demand for high grade Franklins is such that you're seeing record prices almost every month. Just this 1950 was $45,000. Here's a 51 that went for over $80,000. Here's a 1958 that went for $33,000. Here's a 1961 that went for $41,000, $40,800. A number one set right now is probably about a half million dollar set. Uh, a set that's in the, you know, that's number two, number three, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nice proof 68 Franklins. There's a 1957 top rated seller, $789 for a 57. This one was more recent. This, this is just, uh, I just saw this one on eBay just a week ago. Over $1,700, just for the 1957. $1,700, NGC Proof 68. Another top rated star, 58. Over $1,000. 59, over $1,000. These prices that you're seeing here are a little more typical I couldn't find a 55 in Proof 68. I found a comp in 67. I put that in there. These are top rated sellers. You add all that up, it's over $6,700 for the set. $6,700 for the set, or approximately $700 a coin. Take a look at these. Call in now, folks. The 1955 to 1963. A limited time offer while I have these. This is the perfect grade for these sets, a perfect price point, because a number one set is, you know, is, is a half million dollar set. Something way, way up there in quality, number two, number three set, you're talking a few hundred thousand dollars. I've got this nine coin set at less than $300 a coin. $300 a coin would become to $2,700. $200 a coin, comes to $1,800. I've got the entire nine coin set and I can only do this because this is my area of specialization. I cut out all the middlemen. I go through the coins myself, one coin at a time. Tens of thousands of proof Franklins a month cross my desk and only the finest get submitted and I get to pass the savings on to you. $1,000. $595 for the entire nine coin set. Call in now. It is so difficult putting these together. You saw the populations on these. There are so few Franklins graded in Proof 68, far less than 1% of the total mintage in Proof 68 condition. And again, this is the highest matching grade set you can complete in Franklin half dollars. You cannot complete this set in Proof 69 because there are some Franklin dates that do not exist in Proof 69. I've got the set today, $1,595. Folks, the grading fees alone, if you were to try and assemble one of these sets on your own, the minimum grading fee is $20. They charge $8 handling fee. There's a shipping fee. Everything is shipped registered mail. Just to have them graded and ship it back is over $50. You have to ship it to them. You have to pay for the coin. So if you're trying to assemble this set yourself, it's, it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars or more. And you're not going to get Proof 68s. Proof 68s are so hard to come by. You're essentially talking about a perfect coin, hairline free, uh, spot free. These coins are just the absolute epitome of quality. I can't do any better than this. This is the best I can do. The first time ever I've offered this complete set. And here I've got the set where I'm including the 1955, the entire set for $1,595. And I forgot to mention, you will get a free soft cover third edition of my latest book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars. This will be included with your set. Franklin and Kennedy half dollars soft cover third edition with every proof 68 set you acquire. I have a very limited number of these sets. 68 sets I rarely get to offer. In fact, I have never been able to offer this set from 1955 
1963, this particular set in proof 68 condition. This is just a sensational, sensational set. And again, to be able to offer it for $1,595 is the perfect price point and the perfect grade because you're getting such high quality, so much rarity for the lowest possible price, $177 a coin. There are you know, record prices every day being established by, uh, for these, these amazing, nice Franklin half dollars. Not too long ago, I'm going to be closing it out right here. Most recently, there was a Franklin that sold an auction for over $100,000. This is something I was predicting decades ago, that there would come a time when really exceptional Franklins sell for over $1,000, sell for six figures. And it finally happened. It was a 1958 Franklin. It was a mid-state Franklin, and 6-7 plus. Sold for $129,250. First ever Franklin to sell over $100,000 in auction. It feels so good. It feels so good when you get something, you're able to get something that you know has incredible quality for the date, incredible rarity for the date, and tremendous eye appeal. And when you can get it at a rock bottom price, this is a set that I've put together, these sets. I go through them myself, you know, I'm, I'm a coin guy. You know, I grade them myself, I review them myself when I submit these coins. There's a lot of man hours involved. And when I do the work and I can cut out all the middlemen and then pass the savings on to you, you know, this is how we build our clientele here at Rick's US Coin Show, RCTV. You know, we cut out all the middlemen, and when we can get something at a great price, we pass it on to you. The last half dollar series struck entirely 90% silver. The last proof half dollar series struck at the old Philadelphia Mint using those old technologies where you had actual craftsmen, you know, preparing the dies, preparing the coin blanks. Because of that, you had quality control issues because you had some craftsmen who were better than others. So to get a proof Franklin surviving in this kind of condition, is extraordinary when you can get this set. I'm gonna cut it right here because again, I have a limited number of these sets. This is a great set to pass on to your kids, your grandkids. It's really a classic. It's a classic in 20th century United States coinage. It's one of the greatest half dollar sets you can assemble at just a great, great ground floor opportunity price. It's a Rick special. Thank you for watching. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading service in the country, NGC. This guarantees you that the coins you get from us are the grades that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might grade a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. These 1955 to 1963 Franklin half dollars that Rick is offering today come in proof 68 quality. That's the quality of a superb gem uncirculated coin. Proof coins are made specifically for collectors. They are struck two or three times to ensure a beautiful full strike. These coins are individually handled and packaged immediately, so they will retain all of their beauty and quality. Due to primitive technology and packaging issues, many of the Franklin half dollars minted during these times are tarnished with unsightly toning, making superb gem quality Franklins like these a true numismatic rarity. The proof 68 populations of each of these nine Franklin half dollars make up less than 1% of their respective mintages. That's what Rick calls condition rarity. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. And listen to this. This set of stunning Franklin half dollars includes an impressive nine of the 14 total proof issues of this coin series. That's a nearly full set of proof Franklin half dollars, all in practically flawless, superb gem uncirculated condition. Wow! 
And now today, you can add this set of 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $1,595. And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put a half down now of $797.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. But wait, there's more. When you order a set of nine 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars, you will also receive a soft cover third edition of Rick Tamaska's A Guidebook of Franklin and Kennedy Half Dollars. That's a $20 value absolutely free. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited time offer. Make sure to tap into the tremendous numismatic potential of the Franklin Half Dollar Series today. Call the number on your screen right now and add this set of nine stunning 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars Improved 68 Condition to your numismatic collection for two low payments of just $797.50. Call now. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There's nothing I enjoy more than helping our viewers build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high-grade, high-quality examples of certain hard-to-find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins, too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious coin shows, private collections, and dealer inventories across the country. All to help you build the numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative that you would like to be connected with a member of our private advisory coin team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack and James on Rick's US Coin Show right here on Rare Collectibles TV. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV LLC. Our country was founded on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Representing this idealism is our American Eagle. The bald eagle was chosen in 1782 to represent the United States because of its long life, majestic looks, and great strength. The eagle has since become part of our country's national emblem. In 1986, the U.S. Mint had a large surplus of silver, and President Reagan signed a bill to produce a new silver dollar. It was called the American Silver Eagle. The obverse design for the American Silver Eagle was adapted from one of the most beloved U.S. coin designs, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, designed by Adolph Weinman and minted from 1916 to 1947. The obverse of the coin portrays Lady Liberty striding towards the sun. This represents a new day, hope, and prosperity. Liberty is draped in the American flag, flowing from behind her and wrapping around to her feet. Her right arm is outstretched as an open, helping hand. In her left hand, she holds branches of laurel and oak, symbolic of civil and military glory. The obverse also features the word liberty that stretches halfway around the top of the coin. It was 39 years later that Weinman's design returned on the obverse of the American Silver Eagle. U.S. Mint chief engraver John Mercanti adopted the legendary design, but also strengthened many of the coin's details. 
Having better technology in the 1980s, he was able to put more definition into Lady Liberty, which resulted in a more bold and dramatic strike than the original Walking Liberty coin. The reverse of the American Silver Eagle was also designed by Mercanti and portrays a heraldic eagle behind a shield. The eagle is clutching an olive branch in one talon and arrows in the other, which resembles the Great Seal of the United States. Above the eagle are 13 stars, representing the 13 original colonies, and the eagle holds a banner with the saying, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. When I was working on the design for the eagle, I, I never in my wild imagination knew that uh, it would be such a long-lasting coin. and I just knew I wanted something uh, classical and sophisticated to do to, for that design because I knew that uh, Weinman's reverse was on the obverse. I've done a lot of research on Weinman. I had a lot of respect for Weinman. So uh, having all these years, you know, partnering with, with him on that coin has been very special to me. The American Silver Eagle is the largest U.S. silver dollar. It is struck in one troy ounce size and is guaranteed to be 99.9% .9 silver. On July 9, 1985, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act. Just a year and four months later, on October 29, 1986, the first American Silver Eagle was struck. Since 1986, this coin has displayed 12th chief engraver of the U.S. Mint, John Mercanti's beloved heraldic eagle design. But in 2021, this iconic design will be retired, never to be struck onto an American silver eagle again. This truly marks the end of an era. Here to tell you more about this complete set of American silver eagles to display the heraldic eagle reverse is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tomaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the Full Bell Line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about this complete set of American Silver Eagles to display the heraldic eagle reverse is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. If you are tuning in for the first time, well, you have an impeccable sense of timing because what I have for you is what will rank as among the most important collections of the 21st century of United States minted rare coins in terms of their historical significance to our country, their incredible beauty. Without question, this is one of the most beautiful coins ever struck by the United States Mint. And the dimensions of the coin, this is the largest silver dollar ever struck by the United States Mint. And it's not struck in clad metal like all of the coins you find in your change, but they're struck in 999, 0.999, pure silver mined in America. These sets I have for you today are literally the perfect grade for you at this perfect price point. Take a look at this entire set Every year of the heraldic American Silver Eagle, from the very first year they were struck in 1986 to the last year of the American Silver Eagle with the heraldic Eagle Reverse, the 2021. Take a look at every one of these coins, folks. Every coin, flawless to the eye, in mint state, 69 condition. Again, this is the perfect grade at the 
perfect price point for this spellbinding collection of United States silver dollars. And most importantly, this set represents the end of an era with this heraldic eagle reverse. This series has grown to be the most widely collected silver dollar series in all of United States numismatics. Now, the reason your timing is so perfect, in the year 2021, the United States Mint made United States numismatic history with an announcement. It was the headline in publications across our nation. New American Eagle Reverse design debuts in 2021. And right below it, you see original American Silver Eagle design with the heraldic eagle, a Mercanti masterpiece. John Mercanti was the chief engraver at the United States Mint who helped design this American Silver Eagle coin. Here's another article. Type 2 American Silver Eagles coming soon. This article came out in 2021. You see the heraldic eagle on, on the left there. The Type 2 reverse debuting in the year 2021. The American Silver Eagle dollar series first struck in 1986. That coin design, as we have come to know it, receives a major redesign in 2021. While the obverse of the coin will continue on with the classic Walking Liberty design, designed by Adolf Weinman and first introduced on the half dollar struck in 1916, that obverse design will continue on. The reverse of the coin, however, with the famous heraldic eagle, designed by the last chief engraver of the United States Mint, John Mercanti, will be no more. The classic heraldic eagle reverse. The heraldic eagle first appeared on our silver dollars in 1798, folks. And the heraldic eagle is actually taken from the great seal of the United States. The chief engraver, John Mercanti, chose to recreate that classic heraldic eagle for the reverse of the new American Silver Eagle dollars when they first came out in 1986. Now, why is the American Silver Eagle so beloved, so desirable among collectors and non-collectors alike? Well, first of all, the American Silver Eagle is a full ounce of silver mined in the United States of America. All previous silver dollars, the Morgan dollar, the Peace dollar, were 90% silver, containing 0.774 of an ounce of silver. Now, this Morgan dollar is quite worn, but you could see the significant difference in size of the two coins. Plus, the Morgan dollar is 90% silver, while this American Silver Eagle is essentially pure silver. But as importantly as the silver content are the great classical themes of the American Silver Eagle. You look at the obverse of this coin, folks. It's the perfect marriage of beautiful art with great American symbolism and meaning. This incredibly inspirational image, Liberty, struck with the most advanced minting technology, the finest craftsmen, given the responsibility of turning this great art into the most beautiful, perfect embodiment of our nation's great heritage. The obverse actually has its origins with the 1916 Walking Liberty Half Dollar designed by Adolf Weinman. On the obverse were the words Liberty across the perimeter. In God We Trust at around 4 o'clock. And then on the reverse, the United States of America. I was struck by the words, the symbolism, this graceful, flowing image of Lady Liberty striding across the landscape, her right hand outstretched in a gesture of hope, freedom, and peace, the sun rising on the horizon. This classic was last struck in 1947. Given the technology of the day back then and the high level of detail of the design, it proved a difficult coin to fully strike. As a result, most of these coins, even in uncirculated condition, 
lack all the design detail the mint intended. Now, let's take a look at this first coin in this end of an era collection. The 1986 American Silver Eagle that we have here in Mint State 69. Every detail, no matter how small, folks, how intricate, the fingers in Liberty's left hand, which you can't see on the early Walking Liberty half dollars because it was flat. The fingers in her left hand are fully struck up. The stars in Old Glory, the folds in her gown, fully struck in high relief. And this perfect, a coin this size without marks, it's a miracle because folks, these coins were not individually handled. If you ordered a roll of these coins, they came in a tube like this. This is an actual tube that came from the mint of Mint State American Silver Eagles. They were struck and they were thrown into tubes. You open the tubes and of course, from abrading with other coins in the minting process, nearly all of them would have marks. Here's a 1998 and you can see there's a little spot there by In God We Trust, but mo most importantly, you see the marks above In God We Trust, the abrasion. That's what makes this flawless American Silver Eagle collection so impressive. This extremely large silver coin requiring tremendous die pressure, far more die pressure than was available in 1947. And then to survive, abrading with all those other large silver dollars in condition that's flawless to the eye, Mint State 69. And then, of course, there is the heraldic eagle reverse. This heraldic eagle reverse, the heraldic eagle, again, which first appeared on our silver dollars in 1798, the heraldic eagle is used for the great seal of the United States. That heraldic eagle first appeared in 1798. It's been almost 200 years since it's appeared again on a silver dollar. It really was the perfect choice when Chief Engraver John Mercanti used this classic for the American Eagle. 2021 is the last year the heraldic eagle appears on the American Silver Eagle dollar. Listen to this, folks. When the Mint announced that for the final year of the American Silver Eagle with the heraldic eagle reverse, 2021, when they announced that they would strike 320,000 examples in proof condition of the last year of the heraldic eagle, in the announcement, the Mint informed the public that this final year with the heraldic eagle reverse in proof condition would go on sale at 9 a.m. Pacific time, February 11th, 2021. At 9.03 a.m., February 11th, 2021, a full three minutes later, the Mint announced they were sold out. The entire commitment of 320,000 coins in proof condition in less than three minutes. Never in the history of the United States Mint has a coin sold out this quickly. Folks, this translates to an army of new collectors attracted to this incredibly popular series. This series continues to grow in popularity with each passing year. As the series continues on, these beautiful classic silver dollars. Here's the most important part and what makes this set so important to you. With all these millions of new collectors entering the market, getting involved in the American Silver Eagle series, of the greatest importance is that the earlier dates are the rarest dates in high grade Mint State 69 condition. These earlier dates with the heraldic eagle reverse will be the dates in the greatest demand because the quality control in these earlier years simply was not what it is today at the United States Mint. Now here's this entire 36 coin heraldic eagle set in Mint State 69, an extraordinary condition. Most of these American silver eagles, especially those struck before 
the year 2015 are flawed to some degree because, again, the technology, the processes, the procedures in striking these coins was not as state-of-the-art as it is today. To get a set like this, flawless to the eye in Mint State 69, folks, at the price I have this set at today, this is a limited time offer. There are so many dates in this set that are so elusive, so rare in this condition, flawless to the eye. And I like to say the best part of all, again, is the price. Because this set is not based on what the market will bear. It's based on our cost. You can shop around. Here's a 2008 Mint State 69, $495. Here's a 2004, again, Mint State 69, $1,400. So we're already at around $1,900 for those two coins. Here's another, a 2001, $384. Dealer with 100% positive feedback. We go a little farther back in time, a 1999, $349. Here's a 1996, $591. A 1994, tough date, $417 for a Mint State 69. Remember, there's 36 coins in this set. Well, here's a 1993 in Mint State 69. $1,400 for just that one coin. Here's one more, $1,990, $346. Now those are just eight coins, folks. The set has 36 coins. And we're already at $5,382 out of those eight dates in this 36 coin set. This is the perfect grade in Mint State 69. Here we have this perfect set, folks. The complete heraldic eagle set, all 36 dates. But this set, again, is not based on what the market will bear. Our price always is based on our cost. We do the work, we put in the time we look through the tens of thousands of American silver eagles to find that occasional needle in the haystack. And we put our hard work into savings for you, hand selecting the very finest examples to be able to put this set together today at this price, folks. The entire 36 coin set while we have them, this is a limited time offer at this price. Because today, this entire set is only $2,995 for the entire 36 coin set. That comes out to $83.19 a coin. These early heraldic eagles, if you try to assemble a set of this quality by yourself, buying original rolls to look for those occasional Mint State 69s, folks, you could be doing this for the next 20 years, and it's gonna cost you a lot more than $29.95. This is a really, really difficult set to assemble, and it only makes sense. Again, these American Silver Eagles, they're so much larger than Morgan Dollars. The coins were not individually handled once they were struck, one coin of braiding with one another. To survive in this condition, fully struck, without spots, without bag marks or abrasions from other coins, Mint State 69, flawless to the eye. For those of you new to numismatics, you're probably asking, well, that sounds great, Rick, but what exactly is an MS-69? Well, rare coins are graded on the 70 point Sheldon grading standard. From a low of one, which would be a very, very heavily worn coin where you could barely read the date, to a high of 70, 
which represents a coin that's flawless under high magnification. Now, to give you an idea of how rare a 70 is, if you look at United States coins struck before 1960, for example, of the billions and billions and billions of United States coins struck before 1960, not a single coin has ever graded Mint State 70. These American Eagles, to get a grade of Mint State 69, the graders at NGC will study the coin under magnification. If it looks flawless under normal magnification, they put the coin aside and then study it under even higher magnification. If they still don't see a flaw, it would grade 7. So in other words, these coins are essentially flawless to the eye, folks. This is how extraordinary to get a silver dollar, these are large American silver eagles, larger than Morgan dollars, this really large silver coin. They weren't individually handled. They were allowed to braid with all the other coins when they were struck. To get it in this condition where it's flawless to the eye, they are so rare and so highly sought after. It makes perfect sense. You don't have to be a coin expert to understand why these coins are so rare. And the best news of all, we have it on a two payment option. So if you can't swing the entire amount today, put half down today of only $1,497.50 and we'll hold one of these sets for you. And that's critically important because we have a limited supply at this price. You can pay the balance in 30 days. This truly is a must-buy opportunity. This classic American Silver Eagle set with the heraldic eagle reverse. Again, 2021 is the last American Silver Eagle with the heraldic eagle reverse. And it's these earlier American Silver Eagles that are the rarest in high-grade condition. All those future collectors of American Silver Eagles, as this series continues on into the future, into the year 2025, year 2030, this is the most popular silver dollar series in the history of the United States Mint. So to get this set now, these early dates, these are the tough dates. These are the dates that will be most demand in the years and decades ahead. This is a set you want to put away for your kids your grandkids. This is a set that is a true national treasure. It's what this country is all about, that walking Liberty obverse, the heraldic eagle reverse, these beautiful, magnificent silver dollars, the entire 36 coin set, all for only two payments of $1,497.50. I truly hope you can take advantage of it. This is a set that will be very, very good to you. Thank you for watching. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading service in the country, NGC. This guarantees you that the coin you get from us is the grade that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. This complete set of 1986 to 2021 American Silver Eagles that Rick is offering today comes in Mint State 69 condition. That is the grade of a superb gem uncirculated coin. On July 9, 1985, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act. Just a year and four months later, on October 29, 1986, the first American Silver Eagle was struck. The stunning American Silver Eagle is the largest silver dollar produced in U.S. history. And listen to this, it struck from .999 fine pure silver. That's right, pure silver. 
Ever since its release 35 years ago, the American Silver Eagle has become a global numismatic sensation. This stunning coin displays John Mercanti's enhanced rendition of Adolf A. Weinman's iconic Walking Liberty design on the obverse and Mercanti's personal design of a victorious heraldic eagle on the reverse. The year 2021 marks the final issue of the American Silver Eagle that will feature Mercanti's heraldic eagle design on the reverse. This truly signals the end of an era. Now today, you can add this ultimate collection of American Silver Eagles from 1986 to 2021 to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $2,995. That's right, every standard issue American Silver Eagle to display John Mercanti's legendary heraldic design, all in mint state 69 condition, for less than $84 a coin. Wow! And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $1,497.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete, full, 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited time offer. At a price like this, these coins won't last long. Call now. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. Hi, I'm Rick Tomaska, and this is Rare Collectibles TV. Each week, I bring you Rick's U.S. Coin Show, featuring rare, unique, and collectible coins showcasing our country's numismatic history. I've been a coin collector all my life who happens to talk each week on TV about coins. I'm not a salesperson up here on TV selling coins. Rather, I'm a coin guy on TV, hopefully sharing all the information I've learned about coins during the last 35 years. To me, coins are about history, quality, numismatic passion, our heritage. Our goal here at Record Electables TV is to share our knowledge, our years and decades of experience with you, the viewer. And hopefully in the short presentations we give you, you can learn something that has taken us 30, 35 years to learn. And even if you don't buy a single coin, if you've learned something, it's all good. Jack, what you doing? Oh, I'm just cutting out the middleman. That's what we do, folks. Cutting out the middleman and passing the savings on to you at Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation brought to you by Rare Collectibles TV. United States Mint has been dedicated to producing the finest numismatic coins since its inception in 1792. Throughout its 228 years of service, the U.S. Mint has introduced countless pieces of coinage that have stunned the world. From the St. Gardens Gold Double Eagle to the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, the designs created by the United States Mint are globally renowned for their artistic endeavors. And in 2017, in honor of the United States Mint's 225th anniversary, the Mint has yet again produced one of the most mesmerizing coin designs to ever grace American coinage. The obverse of this remarkable coin showcases an African-American rendition of Lady Liberty adorned by a crown of stars. As the first United States coin to depict a rendition of Lady Liberty as an African-American woman, these stunning examples truly are historic numismatic treasures. The reverse of this coin is equally as beautiful as it displays a majestic American eagle mid-flight. With fields that are practically unencumbered by unnecessary design elements, this eagle truly seems to be flying through an open sky. 
And the best part is that this 2017 Silver Liberty coin design was produced at four mint branches with four unique finishes. These four coin sets include a proof example struck at the San Francisco Mint, a reverse proof example struck at the Philadelphia Mint, an uncirculated example struck at the Denver Mint, and an enhanced uncirculated example struck at the West Point Mint. That's not all. Each of these four coins is struck from pure point .999 fine silver. That's four ounces of pure silver. And listen to this. There were only a limited 50,000 of these coins struck, making them tremendous rarities. And because of their low mintages and immense popularity, these sets of Lady Liberty coins completely sold out from the United States Mint. Yes, completely sold out. And now today, Rare Collectibles TV has a limited amount of these iconic Silver Liberty coin sets available. And here to tell you more about the remarkable 2017 Liberty coin set is coin expert, James Gerstel. James is a coin collector and a numismatic expert that has a fervent passion for American coinage. With over 40 years in the field of numismatics, James has gained encyclopedic insight into all there is to know about coins, from Morgan dollars to American silver eagles. You know, I just love the art of coin design. So it's one of the great things about coin collecting that you get so much diversification in art and designers and sculptors and periods of history. And it's a numismatic walk down memory lane of the history of America. The trust which people put in James has led to his designing of the 2015 Panda Coin, which was issued to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the renowned Florida United Numismatic Show. James is also known for his discerning eye when it comes to selecting beautiful, rare coins. Over the course of his career, James has become an expert in all American dollars, particularly Morgans, Peace Dollars, Ikes, and American Silver Eagles. With so much to offer, it's no wonder why James is a host on Rick's U.S. Coin Show. And here to tell you more about the remarkable 2017 Liberty Coin Set is coin expert, James Gerstel. 225 years. That was an anniversary that was recently celebrated by the United States Mint. And that was in 2017. Chartered in 1792. So in 2017, to honor the 225th anniversary of the U.S. Mint, something very, very special was issued from our government. It features a silver issue honoring the 225th anniversary of the U.S. Mint, but so much more than that. This was one of the only instances that I can think of, with the exception of 2011, with the 25th anniversary of the Silver Eagle program, where you could acquire some of the greatest collectible issues in silver the U.S. Mint ever came up with. From Philadelphia, from Denver, from San Francisco, and from West Point. And each one of these silver issues features a different finish on the coin. They're also available in the highest grade attainable, where each and every one of these issues, each and every one of these silver issues, not just the fact that they're dual dated, which hardly ever happens, but they are available in an enhanced uncirculated, or we could start the beginning with reverse proof, then enhanced uncirculated or enhanced finish, then a traditional mint state. There you see it. And a traditional proof, a proof 70 ultra cameo. Now this set had a bold design and very reminiscent of the earliest coins from the 20th century that honored Native Americans. This set honors the first African-American woman ever on a United States issue. 
they are very limited in both mintage and the amount that have certified in perfect grade. And like I said, it is extremely rare to be able to acquire in one collection all of these great finishes that the United States Mint has perfected and has used in striking coins in recent memory. These are all in one collection. Much like the Buffalo nickel and the United States $10 that all featured representations of Native Americans, this coin features an allegorical of liberty that is the very first African American woman ever on a United States issue. Now these are large and they have unique designs. Look at that reverse. With the eagle in flight like you seldom see America's greatest symbol. These are medallic issues that again honor the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint. Each one of these were authorized by an act of Congress. Now these are struck on exactly the same plangets, which is the blank, that the United States Silver Eagle program is struck on. Large, 40 millimeters, pure, 0.999 fine silver, the highest purity of silver that you can get. This is value, ladies and gentlemen, and rarity. Now, I've selected some of the great silver issues from the Silver Eagle series. For 2011, the anniversary of reverse proof. Now the mintage was actually lower than 100,000 by just a few coins. But you take a look at these Liberty medals, every one of them had a mintage of 50,000. There are not many issues from the US Mint with a mintage of 50,000. The 1893S, America's king of all silver dollars, had a mintage of 100,000. Few American silver dollars will come close. So let's take another look. The 2017 Proof Silver Eagle from San Francisco, the mintage was almost 125,000. And again, every one of these coins that I am featuring here is a comparison to these great recently released issues for the 225th anniversary are in the same finish. So you had the traditional proof from San Francisco with almost 125,000 minted. Then the uncirculated example, where there were 100,000 of those and only 50,000 in the set we have. And then one of the greatest designs you've ever seen, the enhanced uncirculated, groundbreaking. The mintage of that coin was 281,000, but the enhanced uncirculated finish in this set, a mere 50,000 coins. Now let's get right down to the set that we're featuring. First thing you need to know, every single issue in this set, and there are four of them, are large. And every single one is in a perfect grade. A reverse proof, a proof, an uncirculated and enhanced finish, all in the highest grade attainable. Perfection. Now it's a four coin set with a mintage of 50,000. Take a look at populations from what is known as the West Point Mint Board. Now you've heard of that before, because here at Rare Collectibles TV, we're extremely fortunate in that we were able to acquire a West Point Mint Hoard of American Silver Eagles that was recently discovered. Well, also recently discovered was another West Point hoard that contained these four issues. The greatest part about these silver medals, ladies and gentlemen, is that they had never been disturbed. These were located in the vaults at the West Point repository. Yes, West Point is a mint, but it is also the number one storage facility for all precious metals other than gold. That's kept at Fort Knox. But when it comes to silver, it's at the West Point repository. It was a repository before it was ever 
a United States minting facility. So recently discovered, literally, in a vault, was these issues that had been there since 2017. They had never been distributed. They had never been presented to a grading service. They were in their original pristine condition. We sent these in for grading. Take a look at the designation on each label because it gives you the whole story. It gives you the illustrious 225th anniversary collection of the American Liberty four metal set. And then it's designated as the 2020 West Point Mint Hoard. Not many of these coins will ever grade in a perfect grade. Not a mint state 70, not a reverse proof 70, or a proof 70, or an enhanced uncirculated 70. But we have them in absolute perfection. So as you can see, when we refer back to the chart here, we see that there's gonna be about 3,200 of these coins that are gonna certify in a perfect grade. Here's the deal with these unbelievable issues. They have not been grading in a perfect grade at the usual rate. It's been way, way under. The vast majority will not grade in a perfect grade, but the ones we have are all perfect. So there you see it right there. Very, very important. One of the most difficult coins to get in a perfect grade in this set is the mint state issue struck at Denver. So take a look, $1,450. $1,450 if you're lucky enough to get one. In a mint state 70, a perfect grade. We have that issue in a perfect grade as well as the three others. We have the entire collection with our special labeling in the highest grade as well. The entire collection, including the rare and elusive from Denver, here, $699. $699. This is big because the 2017 from Denver, the hardest issue in this collection to acquire in a perfect grade 70. And that's why it's almost $1,500. Our entire collection, $699. I'm telling you this right off the bat, nearly, because number one, I've been told I talk a lot. And number two, I want you to get an opportunity to get on the phone lines before they get all jammed up and score yourself a four coin collection honoring 225 years of liberty being produced at the U.S. Mint. And you can see the focal point of that coin is liberty, is the guiding light by which we all live by liberty. And there it is, as big and bold as you can get. Let's take a look at the 2017 struck at West Point, enhanced, uncirculated, that coin is $250. So remember, $1450 for the D, the W enhanced right there, $250, $1,700 already, folks. We're at $699 for the complete collection, all in perfect grade, all in solid, solid silver. This is an amazing issue. These are populating. These are grading at very, very small amounts next to their mintage. And the mintage is very, very small. And it is totally sold out. I should say it was, it's totally sold out at the U.S. Mint. And we're about to be sold out here. So there you have the uncirculated and the enhanced. So the uncirculated 1450 enhanced at $250. Take a look at the reverse proof, $295. That's nearly $2,000, folks. $2,000 in value. $2,000 in what it's selling at. And we're at $699. So the reverse proof, $295. And there you see it there. The coins are stunning. 
So that's going to cap us out, folks, when we compare out there at nearly $2,000, $1,995. Now, I want to show you where Silver Eagles are at. Now, Silver Eagles, now this, the Silver Eagle issue and this issue are struck on the exact same plangent, meaning it's a silver plangent that contains one full ounce of pure silver. But the mintages, and it's not easy to put mintages to shame of these Silver Eagle collectibles from the 25th anniversary set and from the 2017 proof issue because those are some of the lowest mintages of Silver Eagles we've ever seen. But this collection of four beats them out. I mean, th that's just the way it goes. And I want to show you some of those great coins that I mentioned from previous years. In 2011, the U.S. Mint honored the 25th anniversary of the American Silver Eagle with a five-coin set. And I had mentioned the 2011 Philadelphia issue. There it is right there. That's a reverse proof in a perfect grade for $660. I mentioned the 2017 silver proof issue. That had a low mintage, 124,000. I mean, at the time when that coin came out, it beat the mintage of the 1994 proof by a lot. And that coin right there is $395. So right away, at almost $400 and six sets, a thousand, a thousand and sixty. So you're talking about a thousand and fifty-five dollars just for two issues in recent memory that have half the mintage of these issues here. Half. Six hundred and ninety-nine dollars. This is unbelievable. Plus each and every coin, there's over two hundred dollars in grading fees alone if you were to do this on your own and let me say if you were not lucky enough to find a hoard of these coins that had been sitting in a u.s treasury vault at west point since 2017 you would have no chance whatsoever of being able to garner perfect grades because the coins that just they'll have been out there too long baseballed around owned by too many different people. These are direct from a U.S. government vault. That's big. So we're already at nearly $1,100. And here is a Mint State 2011 struck at San Francisco from the 2011 25th anniversary set, $800 almost, $795. So you're already getting close to $1,900. We're a lot of value here. And I have to tell you, we are not in a lower grade or two grades or three grades lower. We're in exactly the same grade as all these coins that I'm making comparison to. This is a really special issue with a mintage of only 50,000 and coins that have been graded in perfect grades not occurring with any regularity whatsoever. Now, last is one of my favorite issues. I have loved this finish since the coin appeared in 2013. It is known as, and let's take a look, enhanced uncirculated in a perfect grade. The great part about the enhanced finish, number one, there's an enhanced uncirculated issue in the set that we're offering. But the enhanced uncirculated features parts of a proof strike an uncirculated strike and a reverse proof strike, all in one coin. And it gives the effect of the figure of liberty floating above the coin. And it had never been done before until 2013 and here in this special issue for 2017. But those enhanced uncirculated coins, this one is almost $360, folks. So you're getting well over $2,000 in value for $699. When it comes to locating hoards, it's pretty tough to do. You know, they really have to come to you. It's not like they're buried somewhere where you're going to find them underground. We're lucky in a lot of ways. One of the greatest ways we're lucky is I get to present what I do as a hobby as a job. But more than that, we're lucky that 
the position that we're situated in in terms of the supply that we get allows us many times, most times, first crack at some of the greatest hordes that are coming out of anywhere. If you watch our show, nobody has greater access to European bank hordes of gold than our show. Nobody. And when it comes to GSA hordes, we lead the pack. Nobody features GSA coins and original holders like we do here on Rare Collectibles TV. And when it comes to important issues that have somehow escaped being released, and these are issues that everybody wants, nobody is in a better position than Rare Collectibles TV. It's our track record. So that's how we came upon this hoard. That's how we have it all. That's how we bring you so much value. This would cost you close to $2,500 out there. And it would be so difficult for you to track down each and every one of these elusive coins in a perfect grade. Nearly impossible. This is the moment for perfection in this collection for peace from the West Point Mint Hoard. And they don't come around very often, folks. And every single one is in a perfect grade. A reverse proof, a proof, an uncirculated and enhanced finish, all in the highest grade attainable. Perfection. At $699, one of the most beautiful and bold designs ever by the U.S. Mint in a low mintage, high, high quality, highest quality, pure silver, once in every 225 years, you'll see something like this, literally. One last time, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got to wrap it up, less than $700, $699, all in perfect grade. It gives you that great opportunity to get four of the greatest finishes ever struck on a silver issue in one collection in a perfect grade across the board. Fellow collectors, this is the opportunity to get in on a truly bona fide hoard from your West Point Mint in a perfect grade right here on Rare Collectibles TV. The United States Mint has been dedicated to producing the finest numismatic coins since its inception in 1792. Throughout its 228 years of service, the U.S. Mint has introduced countless pieces of coinage that have stunned the world. From the St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle to the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, the designs created by the United States Mint are globally renowned for their artistic endeavors. And in 2017, in honor of the United States Mint's 225th anniversary, the Mint has yet again produced one of the most mesmerizing coin designs to ever grace American coinage. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading services in the country, PCGS and NGC. This guarantees you that the coin you get from us is in the grade that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. The four coins of the 2017 Liberty coin set that we are offering today are graded Mint State 70, Proof 70, and Specimen 70. Those are the highest grades that a coin can receive. The obverse of this remarkable coin showcases an African-American rendition of Lady Liberty adorned by a crown of stars. As the first United States coin to depict a rendition of Lady Liberty as an African-American woman, these stunning examples truly are historic numismatic treasures. The reverse of this coin is equally as beautiful as it displays a majestic American eagle mid-flight with fields that are practically unencumbered by unnecessary design elements, this eagle truly seems to be flying through an open sky. 
And the best part is that this 2017 Silver Liberty coin design was produced at four mint branches with four unique finishes. These four coin sets include a proof example struck at the San Francisco Mint, a reverse proof example struck at the Philadelphia Mint, an uncirculated example struck at the Denver Mint, and an enhanced uncirculated example struck at the West Point Mint. That's four stunning coins, each struck from one ounce of pure point nine 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 fine silver. That's four ounces of pure silver. And listen to this. There were only a limited 50,000 of these coins struck. Now that's what we call absolute rarity. A coin is considered to have absolute rarity when its mintage is so low that finding the coin in any condition is a tremendous accomplishment. And because of their low mintages and immense popularity, these sets of Lady Liberty coins completely sold out from the United States Mint. Yes, completely sold out. And now today, you can add this set of four stunning 2017 Liberty coins in perfect condition to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $699. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited time offer, so don't delay. This is a great way to add to your existing collection or to start an impressive coin collection that you'll enjoy for years. Call the number on your screen right now and add this set of stunning one ounce silver Lady Liberty coins to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $699. Call now. The preceding was a paid presentation brought to you by Rare Collectibles TV. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. The Morgan Silver Dollar is without a doubt the most iconic coin in United States numismatics history. Designed by United States Mint assistant engraver George T. Morgan, this Silver Dollar series was minted from 1878 to 1904 and then again for one year in 1921. The Morgan dollar is nearly an ounce in weight and has a 90% silver content, thereby containing over three quarters of an ounce of pure silver. The first Morgan dollar was struck at the Philadelphia Mint on March 11th at 3.17 p.m. in the year of 1878. Later that same year, the Western Mints in San Francisco and Carson City began minting Morgan dollars. The New Orleans Mint started production for this series in 1879, and the Denver Mint produced Morgan Dollars for only one year in 1921. The Morgan Dollar had originally stopped production in 1904, when there appeared to be an abundance of coins. Then, due to the Pittman Act in 1918, 270 million Morgan Dollars were melted into bullion. After a few years, there was a shortage of silver dollars, and the Morgan Dollar was struck for one more year in 1921. It was replaced by the Peace Dollar later in that same year. 
The obverse of the Morgan Silver Dollar depicts a profile portrait representing Lady Liberty. Designer George Morgan used an American woman rather than the usual Greek style figures for the Liberty Head design. He used school teacher Anna Williams as his model and soon thereafter this famous coin design was created. The word Liberty is written on her headband and the words E Pluribus Unum surround the top of her head. Thirteen stars arc along the bottom of the coin and are divided by the date. The reverse of the Morgan dollar depicts an eagle with wings outstretched, its feet are clasping arrows and an olive branch. The inscription, In God We Trust, is inscribed above the head of the eagle. Among the most popular Morgan dollars in the entire series are those which were struck at the legendary Carson City Mint of the Wild West. In total, the Carson City Mint only produced Morgan dollars from 1878 to 1885, and once again from 1889 to 1893. With only 13 years of mintage, Morgan dollars that display the illustrious CC mint mark of the Carson City Mint are notoriously difficult to acquire for collectors. And here to tell you more about the Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar Hoard is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for mint state Franklin half dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. And here to tell you more about the Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar Award is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. And what I have today, folks, is a three coin set, a unique three coin set of Morgan dollars that in the decades ahead, will rank among the most important and historically significant Morgan dollar sets one could hope to own. 1882, 1883, and 1884 Morgan dollars, all struck at the Carson City Mint in special encapsulated holders issued by the Treasury in the 1970s. These three coins rank among the lowest mintage silver dollars in the entire 100 plus Morgan dollar series. These Morgan dollars, folks, were struck at a legendary mint. Morgan dollars from this mint rank among the most desirable Morgan dollars among collectors and dealers of these coins. They are Morgan dollars struck at the Carson City Mint. And folks, these three Morgan dollars from the Carson City Mint that I have for you today really shouldn't even exist, especially in uncirculated condition. Uncirculated condition means none of these silver dollars ever saw the bottom of a cash drawer. They were never used for spending. They spent their entire existence in a mint bag. Now, the last Carson City Mint Morgan dollar was struck in 1893 by mint standards. The Carson City Mint, it's a very small building and we've got a picture of the Philadelphia Mint and it's an imposing building and what you would expect from a mint that is striking millions of coins of every denomination every year. And here is the San Francisco Mint. Even though it was what we refer to as a branch mint, it was a very imposing building very large. And here's the New Orleans Mint. It was originally built in the 1830s. Very large structure. And then we get to the Carson City Mint. Now folks, when you place it next to these, these other mints, it's a tiny, tiny mint structure. The Carson City Mint was probably about the size of the cafeteria 
for the Philadelphia, New Orleans, and San Francisco mints. It's a very small building, and the relative output was minuscule compared to those other mints. Now, here's a chart that shows all the Morgan dollars that were struck at the five different mints over the entirety of the series. Philadelphia struck the lion's share of the Morgan dollars, over 300 million. Next came the New Orleans Mint, 186 million. San Francisco Mint, another branch mint, but a much larger mint than the Carson City Mint, struck 131 million Morgan dollars. Fourth was the Denver Mint, only 20 million coins. However, the Denver Mint didn't open it until much later, in the early 1900s. They only struck Morgan dollars for one year, 1921. And then that one year, they struck over 20 million coins. And then you have the Carson City Mint. They struck Morgan dollars from 1878 to 1893, 13 different dates. And you total all those 13 dates up, it only came to 13 million 862,041 coins, about a million coins a year. Now there are approximately 100 different dates at mint marks, and here we have a ranking of all the Morgan dollars struck by the highest mintage issue in descending order. The most common is the 1921 Philadelphia issue, over 44 million struck. If there's no letter after the date, it means it was struck in Philadelphia. Then you had the 1889 number, 221 million. Then you had the San Francisco, 1921, 21 million. You finally get to the bottom of the first page, 1896, Philadelphia, just about 10 million coins. Now we get to the second page. Here we get some lower mintages. It still starts out at around 10 million at the San Francisco Mint. But by the bottom of the page, we have a New Orleans Mint coin with only 4,900,000 coins. Now we're getting to some lower mintages. But it's not until the third page that we get to the Carson City issues. The highest mintage Carson City Morgan dollar is the 1890, 2.3 million struck. Next highest is the 1878, 2.2 million. And then the 1891, 1.6. And the 1892, 1.3. And now we get to the last page, folks. The coins we have highlighted in red are the coins we have for you today. The 1883, 1884, and 1882. Just over one million struck per year. Now, it was once believed that all the Carson City dollars either went into circulation or were melted down in 1918 as a result of the Pittman Act, when 59% of all the Morgan dollars struck were melted down for bullion. Over 270 million Morgan dollars. Take a look at this chart, folks. This is stunning. And here you can see the total mintage for all the Morgan dollars over the entirety of the series 656 million, 270 million melted down. That's left 386 million coins. And the vast majority of those went into circulation. They were used for commerce. Only about six and a half million have been certified in uncirculated condition. That's about 1.7% of the entire mintage of the surviving coins. Remember, folks, these coins were not made for collecting back then. They were struck for commerce. They were meant to be spent. So the mint tried to produce the most coins possible without a lot of concern about the quality. The coins were struck on a high-speed press, ejected into a bin, one coin would fall on top of another, collecting dings, gouges, and scuffs along the way. They would go through coin counting machines. They would go through the inspection and adjustment department. And from there, they would be dumped into bags. And the bags would be thrown onto trains. And these bags were heavy. So they didn't gingerly place them on the train. They would literally throw them on. The coins would then be rattling around for weeks on the train, abrading with each other and accumulating all kinds of bag marks, long before they even arrived at the banks across the country. They were spent. Most are heavily worn. For example, I've got an 1886 O here. This is the typical Morgan dollar. 
There's a lot of them out there. Over 10 million were struck. But if you found one in uncirculated condition, in other words, a Morgan dollar, an 1886 O that never went, made its way into a cash drawer, was never used for spending, it would be worth 10, 20, 50,000, $100,000 or more if it was in uncirculated condition. So that last number there is the key number when it comes to collecting Morgan dollars. 1.7% of all the Morgan dollars originally struck have survived and have been certified in uncirculated condition. Now, folks, these Morgan dollars I have today struck at the Carson City Mint. This is where the story really gets incredible, really, unbelievable, implausible, inconceivable. Only the federal government could concoct such an improbable plot twist. It turns out that deep in some remote corner of one of the cavernous coin vaults belonging to the United States Treasury were some dust-covered original bags of Carson City dollars directly from the mint, uncirculated Carson City dollars, which were last struck in 1893. And here they were in these vaults at the Treasury in the 1960s. This is legendary, folks. In fact, my partner, Jack McNamara, he just had to have one of these bags, folks, an actual Carson City silver dollar bag from the Treasury. And it was available in an auction, and Jack had to pay $1,500 just for this bag. That's how historic and monumental these coins are and how much they mean to the collecting public today. This is the most incredible pedigree you could ever hope to own when it comes to Morgan dollars. There they were, original Carson City mint bags with Carson City silver dollars, the lowest mintage Morgan dollars of all. Well, the mint had all these bags of Morgan dollars from the Carson City mint. And the question was, well, what do we do with these coins? The Treasury hired some expert numismatists to help sort the coins. And all the examples that were deemed to be badly damaged, heavily oxidized, were set aside. But the finest uncirculated examples were encapsulated beginning in 1972 in what we now refer to as the GSA holder the Government Services Administration hard plastic holder, guaranteed uncirculated by the United States Treasury. And they were offered to the public for sale for a substantial premium. Here is one of the original brochures from that sale. This brochure gives the entire history some of the beginnings of the Carson City Mint, how to bid on the coins. And that is what I have today. A limited quantity of the three extremely low mintage Carson City silver dollars guaranteed uncirculated by the United States government in the original GSA holder. Take a look at these coins, folks. Beautiful, uncirculated Carson City Morgan dollars. Here's an 1882, the first year of this three-coin set. Beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated. Now, Morgan dollars, again, these coins were struck for commerce, folks. And there you see at the bottom, the very unique CC at the bottom at around 6 o'clock. The CC meaning it was struck in Carson City, the dual mint mark. But these Morgan dollars were struck for commerce. Most would be very heavily bag marked. And as we said earlier, the worst examples, the damaged pieces, were not included in these GSA holders. These are among the finest surviving specimens from the GSA hoard. Discovered in the Treasury Vault in the 1960s, they had been sitting there probably since the 1880s, a period of about 80 years, just a truly once in a lifetime. Haley's common event when we're talking about Morgan silver dollars. Now, if you're new to collecting, the Carson City Mint operated for a very short time. Silver was discovered in Nevada 
in 1859. And this was monumental, folks. This vein of silver came to be called the Comstock Lode. In response to all the silver being mined, the Treasury built a small branch mint located in Carson City. They built it in 1865. This Carson City Mint had a very limited production capacity. Now, the Carson City Mint didn't begin striking any coins until 1870. By that time, mint production began to slowly decline because the tremendous output of silver from that Comstock load began to decline. And that's reflected in the population growth of nearby Virginia City. Virginia City was where a lot of the miners lived, not too far away from Carson City Mint. In 1860, Virginia City population was about 2,300 people. It reached a peak in the mid-1870s with an estimate of about 25,000 residents. That was a huge, huge city when you consider this was the Wild West, folks. In the mid-1870s, 25,000 residents, it was a major, major city. But as that output began to decline, by 1880, the population of Virginia City declined to 11,000. By 1890, it was about 6,400 people. And by 1900, it was back down to only 2,700 residents. And in 1893, the Carson City Mint struck its last silver dollar. It was an operation that meant for a mere 23 years. Among numismatists, for all these reasons, the very low mintages, its remote location, in operation for only a little over two decades before it closed down, and its unique double mint mark. It's not a simple D that was used by the Denver Mint or an S as used by the San Francisco Mint or the O used by the New Orleans Mint. The Carson City Mint had a unique CC double mint mark. Among Morgan Dollar enthusiasts, of which I am one, Carson City Silver Dollars have a special romance and a special place in our collection. And today I have these three Carson City Silver Dollars that really should not exist. By some freak or some accident, they ended up in the vaults in the treasury and had been sitting there for decades and decades and decades. It's hard to believe these Carson City Morgan Dollars struck almost 140 years ago to meet the demands of commerce. The silver dollar was the coin of the realm in the Western states, folks. They didn't like to use paper dollars. They liked to use silver dollars. It's really a miracle that these have survived. And these are among the lowest mintage silver dollars in the history of Morgan and Peace dollars. And the 1882 CC, 1883 CC, and 1884 CC all have mintages of just around a million coins, uncirculated, still sealed from 1882, 1883, and 1884. In the original GSA holders, as they left the Treasury in 1972, guaranteed uncirculated by the United States Treasury. When PCGS and NGC opened their doors for grading in the late 1980s, a lot of those coins were cracked out of the holders so collectors could get the coins graded. A majority no longer exists in these original GSA holders. But then, sometime in the early 1990s, collectors of these coins and the original GSA holders began to say, you know what, I don't want to crack it out. It's much more valuable with this pedigree than it would be in a PCGS or NGC holder. To have this pedigree, folks, it's the only time the government has issued an original Morgan dollar in this special GSA holder. We have the three coins set today, these three rare CC dollars for $1,695 for the three coin set. It's available on the two payment option. All you have to do is put half down today of $847.50. We will hold one of these sets for you with your name on it, put it in our vault, and pay the balance in 30 days. 
you will get three pristine Carson City dollars, like you see here. These holders, they're gonna be pristine, these 50-year-old holders, folks, just as they came out of the GSA, the Government Services Administration hard plastic holder, guaranteed uncirculated by the United States Treasury. 1882, 1883, and 1884 Morgan dollars. These three coins rank among the lowest mintage silver dollars in the entire 100 plus Morgan dollar series. All struck at the Carson City Mint, its remote location, in operation for only a little over two decades before it closed down, and its unique double mint mark. This historic coin is a valuable memento of an era in American history when pioneers were challenging the West. The silver in this dollar was mined from the rich Comstock load discovered in the mountains near Carson City, Nevada. The Carson City Mint was established there in 1870, and although it was in existence for a mere 24 years, it produced many coins which have endured as collector's items, among them the 13-piece Morgan Dollar Series of 1878 to 1893. Their link with an historic period in our nation's history gives these dollars an added appeal. This coin is an uncirculated specimen of the Morgan Dollar containing 90% silver, which somehow survived the massive coin melts of the early 1900s they were discovered by a treasury audit in 1964 after nearly a century of obscurity in the vaults. This issuance by General Services Administration of the last of the uncirculated Carson City dollars will serve for millions of Americans as cherished mementos of a colorful era. Folks, we hope you can take advantage of it. We got the most amazing group of these. Jack and I cherry-picked the finest examples in pristine holders, the coins in the most pristine condition. We got a great deal on this collection because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The only time Morgan dollars have been discovered in the vaults in the Treasury from the Carson City Mint. And we got them at a great price, and we're passing our good fortune on to you. It doesn't get any better than this. Here you've got these exquisite Morgan dollars struck at that Carson City Mint in 1882, 1883, 1884. They were thought to have been melted down in 1918. But no, there were some that were in the original mint bags issued by the Carson City Mint that had been shipped to the Treasury vaults and had been sitting in those Treasury vaults until 1964 when they were discovered in an audit. And that's the only reason we have these coins today. I hope you can take advantage of this opportunity. This is a great, great Morgan dollar set for you today, folks. It has the greatest possible pedigree. If there's ever a three-coin Morgan set that you want to keep in your family, pass down to your kids and your grandkids, it would be this three-coin GSA Carson City collection that I have for you today. Thank you for watching. The Morgan Silver Dollar has long been considered America's favorite collectible coin. And today you can add three Morgan Dollars struck at the legendary Carson City Mint of the Wild West to your numismatic collection. The 1882, 1883, and 1884 C.C. Morgan dollars that Rick is offering today come in brilliant uncirculated condition. On the Sheldon scale, a brilliant uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of Mint State 60. Mint State coins are coins that were produced for commerce. These coins are distributed from banks around the country and circulated for years. To find Morgan Silver Dollars like these that are in brilliant uncirculated condition is simply difficult to do. Morgan Dollars struck at the Carson City Mint are among the most highly sought after by numismatists due to their low mintages and limited availability. And listen to this. 
Each of the Morgan dollars you get today will come in their original General Services Administration's packaging. Carson City Morgans that have been preserved in their original GSA packages are the most desirable that a collector can obtain. And now today, you can add this set of 1882, 1883, and 1884 CC Morgan dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $1,695. These coins are in limited supply and this is a limited time offer. And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $847.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. At a price like this, these coins won't last long. Call now. And what I have today, folks, is a three coin set of Morgan dollars, 1882, 1883, and 1884 Morgan dollars, all struck at the Carson City Mint in special encapsulated holders issued by the Treasury in the 1970s. These three coins rank among the lowest mintage silver dollars in the entire 100 plus Morgan dollar series. Folks, we hope you can take advantage of it. We got the most amazing group of these. Jack and I cherry-picked the finest examples in pristine holders, the coins in the most pristine condition. And we got them at a great price, and we're passing our good fortune on to you. This is a great way to start collecting Morgan dollars or any kind of United States coinage. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There is nothing I enjoy more than helping our clients build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high-grade, high-quality examples of certain hard-to-find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins, too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious private collections, coin shows, and dealer inventories across the country, all to help you build a numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, Call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative you would like to be connected with a member of the Private Advisory Coin Team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack, and James on Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. After an unexpected hiatus in 2022, Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars are finally back in 2023. And you are first in line for Rare Collectible TV's special pre-sale offer. The Silver Dollar is the ultimate American collector's coin. And the two most popular silver dollar designs are the Morgan Silver Dollar, designed by George T. Morgan and struck from 1878 to 1921 and the Peace Silver Dollar, designed by Anthony D. Francisi and minted from 1921 to 1935. In 2021, the U.S. Mint brought back the beloved Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars after 100 years, and the coins immediately sold out. Even years after the release of the 2021 Morgan and Peace Dollars, the demand for these coins has not slowed down at all, with examples often commanding the highest premium since their release. 
and with a severe silver planchet shortage preventing the production of 2022 Morgan and Peace dollars. The demand for these new 2023 Mint State 70 examples is at an all-time high. With mintages of just 275,000 coins for each, these 2023 Morgan and Peace dollars are considered absolute rarities that rank among the lowest minted coins of their respective numismatic series. A coin is considered to have absolute rarity when its mintage is so low that finding the coin in any condition is a tremendous accomplishment. With millions of collectors looking for these coins, the limited supply cannot catch up to the demand, making examples more difficult to acquire by the day. And our 2023 Morgan and Peace dollar coins are guaranteed to be Mint State 70 by NGC, the highest possible grade for a numismatic rarity. And our coins will also have the distinguished pedigree of first day of issue. Now is your chance to take part in Rare Collectible TV's pre-sale and guarantee yourself access to the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars in perfect Mint State 70 condition. Stay tuned and learn how to reserve your 2023 set right now. Here to tell you more about the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author Rick Tamaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. I am so happy, so thrilled to be able to announce we hit it out of the park once again, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's been about two years. When the Mint came out with that six coin 2021 Morgan and Peace Dollar set, the response overwhelmed us. We had several thousand first day of issue six coin sets in MS-70, and we quickly sold out. And the reason, of course, a big reason was the mint went against tradition. Usually when they get something that's going to be a real hot item, they strike as many coins as they have orders for. And if they had followed that tradition, they would have struck several million of these sets because they knew from surveys that the demand for these, this 2021 Centennial Morgan Peace Dollar set was gonna be through the roof. But they went against tradition and they struck a limited number of these sets, 175,000. Now, dealers were, uh, and collectors who got these sets at that time, when we were offering them, they were offering these same sets for five, six, seven thousand dollars. We're going to show you just really quickly a few comps. There's a set for six thousand dollars for a first day of issue set. You know, this is where the market was, folks. There's a set for fifty five hundred. There's just for the twenty twenty one Morgan for a first day of issue, just for that coin alone, a thousand dollars. So that will, was where the market was. But we did not, and, and there you see it, the Peace Dollar first release for $1,200. But we did not follow the rest of the market. We stuck to our code, which is uh, deeply ingrained in our DNA. Our, our key to our, our success is that we price coins based on our cost, not on what the market will bear. And we got a great deal on those first day of issues as an MS-70 and we passed it on to you. And again, we sold out. And those same sets today, I am very happy to report for all of you 
collectors out there who bought those sets when we had them at $26.95, those same sets today, folks, are $4,995, and we can't offer them for any less. I mean, there are very few sellers, and there are a lot of buyers for these Morgan and Peace dollars that these the United States Mint has resumed striking. And then came 2022, and they didn't release any Morgan or Peace dollars. Some say it's because they just couldn't get the silver planches. But here we are in 2023. We're getting a limited quantity of first day of issue 2023 P Morgan and 2023 Peace dollars in MS 70 first day of issue. This is a time to take an advance order, folks. We're taking advance orders. So call in now. Folks, this set that we have today they're also very low minage. They're only striking 275,000 of these sets. There are only so many that are gonna be first day of issue. And of those, a sizable percentage are not going to be MS-70. So call in now, because we have these sets. These are gonna go fast. Our packed sales team, one of our team members just placed one call with one of his clients for one of these sets, and the client ordered 100 sets right there. If we had to pay $525 for these sets and offer them for $595, you would be getting a great deal. At $595, that would be less than $300 a coin for these first day of issue sets in MS-70. That would be a great deal. But we got a spectacular, spectacular deal. And again, we're passing it on. Call in now if you want just one set. Here's what we're doing, $399 for both coins. That's just not for the Morgan dollar and the Peace dollar. It's for both coins, $399. And you will get a very, very high quality cherry wood type box, which will hold all six coins of the 2023 coins, coins that are going to be issued this year. The first two coins are the 2023 P Mint State Morgan dollar and the 2023 P Mint State Peace dollar. Those first two coins will be placed here in this box. And when the mint comes out two months from now with the next two issues, which will be in proof, those will go in the next column. And then in the fall, they're coming out with the reverse proofs. So that's how the program works. But this, this box will only be included with the first 500 orders. Now, so call in now on these. This is a great, you know, these will sell out quickly. Again, that we would sell out, folks, if we had them at $595, but we're offering them for only $399. But I don't want you to get just one set. If you get five sets, take advantage of this offer. Five sets for only $389, that's $1,945. That's less than, again, less than $200 a coin. $1,945, and that's available on the two payment option. You could pay half down today of $972.50, and we will hold these five sets for you. And then we finally have the 10 set quantity discount, 10 set. That means 20 coins for $3,790. 10 sets, 20 coins for only $3,790. Also available on the two payment option, half down of only $1,895. And we will hold 10 sets for you of this first day of issue MS-70 set. And again, for the first 500 orders, you will get this really custom cherry wood box. You know, there's one cherry box per order. So if you get the five sets or the 10 sets, you will get one cherry box. We have a limited quantity of the, of the cherry boxes. I have to emphasize the really low mintage of these coins. And this is what makes them such a spectacular, highly popular collectible among collectors and non-collectors alike. This is what has made it so special because even people who never bought a rare coin before are absolutely enthusiastic. The Morgan dollar was named after the artist
George T. Morgan, first struck in 1878, last struck in 1921. And the peace dollar, created by Anthony De Francisi, was first struck 1921, in the same year as the final year of the Morgan dollar, and it was last struck in 1935. This is something that collectors and non-collectors alike can appreciate. Again, the importance of the mintages, because you know, if the mint had only issued two million sets, that would be a low mintage. If they only had issued a million, it would make these coins among the lowest mintage issues in the Morgan dollar series. Caitlin's gonna show you a chart of all the Morgan dollars struck in descending order from the highest mintage to the lowest mintage. And this is page one. The highest mintage was the 1921 P. They struck over 44 million. You get to the bottom of the page, we're finally down below 10 million coins. We go to the second page. You know, there are about 100 different dates and mint marks in the Morgan dollar series. You go to the second page, by the bottom of the second page, we're down to five million. And we're about halfway through the series, folks. We get to the third page, we're down to 1.35 million, that 92 cc, much, much rarer date. And now we go to the last page with the lowest mintage issues. And like I said, if they only struck, had issued a million of these sets, that would make these coins very low mintage, with coins with tremendous absolute rarity. But they didn't do that. Look at the mintages. The 2021, only 175,000, and now this 2023, they're limiting it to 275,000 sets. And again, this is a limited time offer because we're not just offering any old 2023s. We have the first day of issue, and the first day of issue sets labeled first day of issue realize significant premiums for only $399, that's under $200 a coin, under $200 a coin for first day of issue MS-70s. Coins are graded from a low of one to a high of 70. The lower the number, the more wear on the coin. The higher the number, the closer to perfection. A 70 represents perfection. That is the highest grade. Up until 2021, the lowest mintage piece dollar was, was the 1928P, only 360,000 struck. Now you have the new record holders, the 2021P, only 200,000 coins, and the 2023P, only 275,000 coins. Call in now. Again, folks, cannot stress enough what a great opportunity this is. Uh, the, the proofs which will be uh, struck next are coming out in Jul um, two months after the first two coins. And then the last two coins are reverse proofs and they're coming out in the fall. So these are the first two issues of the 2023 Morgan and Peace Dollars. There's gonna be three Morgans and three Peace Dollars, three of each. And this is uh, something, a series we will continue as long as the mint issues these coins, like as with the American Silver Eagles. When the American Silver Eagles were first struck in 1986, they were incredibly popular. And the mint struck as many coins as they had orders for. And they struck well over a million American Silver Eagles in proof that first year. Well, they didn't do that with these Morgan and Peace dollars. They're only issuing 275,000 of these, and that's it. The demand is so much greater, so much greater than the supply, because this is something that transcends numismatics. This is something that collectors and non-collectors alike can appreciate. It reminds me of the 1964 Kennedy half dollar. Well, after President Kennedy was assassinated, everybody wanted to own a 1964 Kennedy half dollar transcended numismatics because this, this set you see here is part of our history. These are coins that were originally struck over a hundred years ago and the mint went way out of the box and they brought this series back. They reinstated the series, striking these first day of issue coins, striking the Morgan dollar and the peace dollar, bringing these sets back, struck in United States silver, they're incredible coins. They are incredibly beautiful. In MS-70, first day of issue, it's as good as it gets. We have a limited number of these in first day of issue. If you've just tuned in, I have announced that the Mint has resumed the striking 
of their Morgan and Peace dollars, which they be originally initiated back in 2021 when they were offering us the six coin set. Those six coin sets that we had in MS-70 that were selling for $26.95, well below what the rest of the market was selling them for. We, we sold out. We sold several thousand of those sets. We sold out. And those same sets today are going for around $5,000, a complete set of 2021s in MS-70, first day of issue. And we can't get enough of them. Again, because there's a lot more buyers than there are sellers. And that's the beauty of getting these coins in low mittage, first day of issue, MS-70. You're talking about a finite quantity of these most desirable coins. They're a finite quantity, and you have a tremendous number of collectors who desire something like this, especially at this introductory offer price that I have for you today. Again, the Mint's only issuing 275,000 for these sets. Most don't grade MS-70, and these are first day of issue. There's only going to be so many first day of issue coins in MS-70. And everybody who gets one, they're, they're, it's only $399 per set. Folks, that's less than $200 a coin. In MS-70, first day of issue, it's an exciting, exciting time to be a collector. The Mint has done us a tremendous, tremendous favor by limiting these coins to only 275,000 struck. You know, again, if they wanted to make a lot of money, they could easily sell millions of these sets. They probably could have struck 15 or 20 million of these sets and they would have sold out. But then the quality would be so high that it would always be in balance with the demand. In this situation where you have such a small initial quantity, only 275,000 total mintage, there's only so many that are going to be first day of issue and of those, only a finite quantity are going to be MS 70s. So you're getting the opportunity to get the, the finest, most desirable specimens at a really great, great price that gives you all the upside potential. It's a price that's based on our cost. This is a set that, again, if we had priced this at $7.95, it would have been an okay deal. At $5.95, this would be a great deal, at less than $300 a coin. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if we had to pay $500 to $550 for these sets. But we were able to get them we were first in line and we were able to get a large quantity of these first day of issue coins in MS-70 and we were able to get them at the greatest possible, lowest client friendly price and we're able to pass that on to you today. And so for this limited time, while we have them, I'm announcing that we have, if you just want one set, they're only $399 and you get it with this cherry wood box. But if you can swing it, all you collectors, if you want it, you know, it's so good to get more than one set because maybe down the line you might want to sell one of the sets or two of the sets. But if you do that and, you know, you sell one or two, you'll still have one or two that you can hold on to and pass on to your kids or grandkids. And so we have a five set quantity discount where the price, we knocked $10 off from $399 to $389. Now that may not seem like a lot, but again, we've already really cut it to the bone. So at $389, that brings, brings it down to two payments of $972.50. And that's 10 coins, less than two, well under $200 a coin. And finally, if you really want to get a great, great position, we have the 10 set option. Think about that. 20 of these in MS-70, first day of issue. And the price drops all the way down to $379. And now again, you, you get one of these boxes with the 10 set purchase, but you get them for only $379. That's well, that's under $190 a coin. So if you get the five sets or the 10 sets, you will get one cherry box. We have a limited quantity of the, of the cherry boxes. First day of issue, 
mint state 70 and it's the two payment option half down today you can take advantage of it half down to of only one thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars in the balance in 30 days so in closing i've explained all the great things about this program this is ms70 if you're new to collecting that means these coins are flawless under high magnification coins are graded from a low of one to a high of 70. The lower the number, the more wear on the coin. The higher the number, the closer to perfection. A 70 represents perfection. That is the highest grade. That's the Everest of coin grading. It doesn't get any better than that. And just in case you're wondering, what about the earlier Morgan and Peace dollars? Well, there are no earlier Morgan and Peace dollars ever graded in MS-70. And that's another great thing about these coins. These coins are flawless under high magnification. You look at this chart of all the peace dollars struck from 1921 to 1935 that are graded by NGC and PCGS. The highest grade any peace dollar from that era has ever received is 68, MS-68. There's only four of those. And here you're getting a 2023 in MS-70. And then the Morgan dollars. There are no MS-70s. There are a few in MS-69. And you can see, MS-69 is 16 coins. That's, that's 16 coins, folks. And here you're getting a 2023 Morgan dollar, MS-70, and it's the first day of issue. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Again, announcing we have these available. We have these available. Ultra low mintage. Here you're getting coins with tremendous absolute rarity in the finest possible condition for under $200 a coin, again, based on our cost. And that's why we're able to offer it at this great, great price because we bought a large quantity of these based on our tremendous success that we had with the 2021 sets where we were offering them at a great, great price. And those sets in just two years have almost doubled in value. And here we have an opportunity. If you missed out on those first 2021 sets, this is an opportunity. Take advantage of this now while we have them. So thrilled to be able to announce this. You know, I, I was wondering because they didn't issue any Morgan and Peace in 2022. So uh, we were just waiting, waiting. When, when are they going to issue them for 2023? And here they are. I'm, I get to make this announcement. This is too big. This is really too important. I want you to take advantage of this while we have it at this kind of price. After an unexpected hiatus in 2022, Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars are finally back in 2023. And you are first in line for Rare Collectible TV's special pre-sale offer. The Silver Dollar is the ultimate American collector's coin. And the two most popular Silver Dollar designs are the Morgan Silver Dollar, designed by George T. Morgan and struck from 1878 to 1921, and the Peace Silver Dollar, designed by Anthony D. Francisi and minted from 1921 to 1935. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading service in the country, NGC. This guarantees you that the coin you get from us is the grade that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU about uncirculated coin would rate between 50 and 58, while an uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of 60. The 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver dollars that we are offering today come in mint state 70 condition. That's the highest grade a coin can receive. In 2021, the U.S. Mint brought back the beloved Morgan and Peace Silver dollars after 100 years, and the coins immediately sold out. Even years after the release of the 2021 Morgan and Peace dollars, the demand for these coins has not slowed down at all, with examples often commanding the highest premium since their release. And with a severe silver planchet shortage preventing the production of 2022 Morgan and Peace dollars, the demand for these new 2023 Mint State 70 examples is at an all-time high. With mintages of just 275,000 coins for each, these 2023 Morgan and Peace dollars are considered absolute rarities that rank among the lowest minted coins of their respective numismatic series. 
A coin is considered to have absolute rarity when its mintage is so low that finding the coin in any condition is a tremendous accomplishment. And our 2023 Morgan and Peace Dollar coins are guaranteed to be Mint State 70 by NGC, the highest possible grade for a numismatic rarity. And our coins will also have the distinguished pedigree of first day of issue. And now today, you can add a set of 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars in perfect Mint State 70 condition to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $399. That's less than $200 per coin. And listen to this. You can acquire five sets of 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars for just $1,945. That's a total of 10 coins for less than $195 per coin. And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put a half down now of $972.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And as the best offer of all, you can acquire 10 sets of the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars for only $3,790 or two payments of $1,895. That's 20 coins for less than $190 per coin. Wow. But wait, there's more. The first 500 callers will receive a premium Cherrywood box. That is the perfect way to store and display your 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Limit one premium Cherrywood box per customer. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete, full 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. With millions of collectors looking for these coins, the limited supply cannot catch up to the demand, making examples more difficult to acquire by the day. Now is your chance to take part in Rare Collectible TV's presale and guarantee yourself access to the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars in perfect Mint State 70 condition. Pre-sale slots are filling up fast, and they are extremely limited. Don't miss this chance to acquire your 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar Set. At a price like this, these coins won't last long. Call now. The preceding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. From day one, I have lived by a real simple mission statement. It's a mission statement that I share with every employee who comes to work at Rare Collectibles TV. It's what we are all about. It's what our DNA is. It's real simple. It's that our service is providing the perfect coin for you. It's telling you, letting you know that we understand that coin collecting is a very personal experience and that we share your goal as fellow numismatic archaeologists to make the collecting experience as pleasurable and fun as possible for you. Thank you for these few minutes. Hi, I'm Rick Tamaska. Since we first aired in 2014, we have assembled some of the finest coin collections for our clients, and we want to do the same for you. I ask you, do you want the best? Watch me on Rick's U.S. Coin Show on Rare Collectibles TV right here on this channel. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. The Morgan Silver Dollar is without a doubt the most iconic coin in United States numismatics history. Designed by United States Mint assistant engraver George T. Morgan, this Silver Dollar series was minted from 1878 to 1904 and then again for one year in 1921. The Morgan dollar is nearly an ounce in weight and has a 90% silver content, thereby containing over three quarters of an ounce of pure silver. The first Morgan dollar was struck at the Philadelphia Mint on March 11th at 3.17 p.m. in the year of 1878. 
Later that same year, the Western Mints in San Francisco and Carson City began minting Morgan dollars. The New Orleans Mint started production for this series in 1879, and the Denver Mint produced Morgan dollars for only one year in 1921. The Morgan dollar had originally stopped production in 1904, when there appeared to be an abundance of coins. Then, due to the Pittman Act in 1918, 270 million Morgan dollars were melted into bullion. After a few years, there was a shortage of silver dollars, and the Morgan dollar was struck for one more year in 1921. It was replaced by the peace dollar later in that same year. The obverse of the Morgan silver dollar depicts a profile portrait representing Lady Liberty. Designer George Morgan used an American woman rather than the usual Greek style figures for the Liberty head design. He used school teacher Anna Williams as his model and soon thereafter this famous coin design was created. The word liberty is written on her headband and the words E Pluribus Unum surround the top of her head. Thirteen stars arc along the bottom of the coin and are divided by the date. The reverse of the Morgan dollar depicts an eagle with wings outstretched, its feet are clasping arrows and an olive branch. The inscription, In God We Trust, is inscribed above the head of the eagle. Even though these coins are over 100 years old, Morgan silver dollars are more popular today with collectors than ever before. Here to tell you more about Morgan silver dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tomasco. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tomaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the Full Bell Line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tomaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about Morgan Silver Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tomasco. I know my Morgan Dollars, folks, and I am committed to placing the finest possible Morgan Dollars for the date and price point with you, my clients, you folks watching today. Now, when it comes to collecting Morgan Dollars, the most important first lesson to understand about collecting Morgan dollars is that there are two kinds of rarity when we refer to rare coins in numismatics. There is absolute rarity and then there is condition rarity. Absolute rarity is a coin that is rare in any condition, either because very few are minted or because there are very few survivors from the original minage. And then there is a second kind of rarity, which we refer to as condition rarity. Morgan dollars were struck in very large numbers for their day. Here's a chart that shows the total minage of all the Morgan dollars struck from 1878 to 1921. Over the entirety of the series, over 656 million Morgan dollars were, were struck. And then in 1918, there was what was called the Pittman Act, and they melted around 270 million down. But there were still over 386 million remaining. These coins, again, were struck from 1878 to 1904, and then for one final year in 1921. So a couple hundred million survived to this day but almost all of them look like these coins that I have here. I picked these up in my local coin shop, folks, for about $30, $35 a coin. They're quite worn. This is an 1886, and it was struck in the New Orleans Mint, because you know it's struck in New Orleans because below the Eagle at 6 o'clock, 
There's an O for New Orleans. Now this 1886 O is a great example. Here I acquired this coin for about $35. Over 10 million were struck, and a lot of them have survived. But most look like this example I picked up in the shop for $35. But in uncirculated condition, an 1886 O becomes a very rare coin. It's extremely rare in uncirculated condition where it never went into circulation. And here's one of the finest known examples in uncirculated condition. So that 86-0 is just one example. I mean, there are other dates in mint state in the Morgan Dollar series that are even rarer than the 1886-0. There's about 100 different dates and mint marks in the Morgan Dollar series. Collecting Morgan dollars is all about condition rarity. Acquiring these coins, not in circulated condition, like that 86 O I showed you, of which there are an abundance, but in beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated condition, where they are rare and most desirable, like the Morgan dollar collection I have for you today. When we're talking about uncirculated mint state coins, all Morgan dollars have bag marks. These coins were struck, they were dumped into bins, they went through coin counting machines, and from there they were dumped into bags and shipped to banks around the country via train. So it got, would get to the bank, and even though it would be uncirculated, it would have a lot of an abundance of bag marks. These are really large, heavy coins. The question is, how many bag marks? Now, if it had an incredible amount, you know, the, the worst condition coins in the bag, those would be the MS-60 coins with the most bag marks. So that's what MS-60 means. And, and the higher the number, the fewer the bag marks. Now, there are no MS-70s. That 70 represents perfection. There are no Morgan dollars in 70 condition. In fact, in 6.9, I think there's only a couple. You know, anything in the MS grade is considered uncirculated and highly desirable, especially if it's above an MS 61, 62 grade in that range. So you look at that chart and all the Morgans that were struck, but in uncirculated mid-state condition, the two major grading services, NGC and PCGS, have only graded about six and a half million coins in uncirculated condition. That's only 1.7% of the surviving mintage. And that's what we refer to as condition rarity. That's the top 1.7%, folks. Now, there are approximately 100 different dates and mint marks in the Morgan Dollar series, including a couple major varieties. So assembling a complete Morgan Dollar set, and even the lowest, mint state 60 grade, would require an investment literally in the millions of dollars. On the other hand, there is the great American silver dollar hoard, a historic collection of Morgan and Peace silver dollars. There were around 50 bags, around 1,000 coins per bag of mixed date silver dollars that had been accumulated over many decades and put away some 50 plus years ago before Morgan dollars were widely collected. Please take a look at this collection. 20 different dates and mint marks, a full 20% of the entire Morgan dollar series. Folks, these were hand selected from the greatest hoard of uncirculated silver dollars that Jack McNamara and I have ever seen or handled in our lives. You take a look at these folks, how few bag marks, how lustrous, how well struck. I mean, these are beautiful. Perhaps not everyone can afford the entire 20 coin set. So what I'm doing is beginning with a five coin set that you can acquire. And you can take, starting with this five coin set that we have here, folks. This is a great way to start if you've never acquired a United States rare coin before or a United States rare Morgan dollar. In this five coin set, we have the 1879S 
means it was struck in San Francisco. The 1881S, the 1884O struck in New Orleans, the 85O and the 87P. I have put together, took me several hours and assembled a Morgan Dollar rarity chart for you to look at that shows you the rarity of each of these dates in uncirculated condition. And they're organized in order from, the, from what I would call the most common to the most rare. Now the most common Morgan dollar in uncirculated condition is the 1881S. It struck about 12.7 million coins, only 268,000 certified in uncirculated condition. Number two is the 84O, and you see the 85O, 87P, and 1879S. And those are all in the five coin introductory set that we have here for you today. This is above average eye appeal. Again, these are hand selected by Jack and I. Look at the luster, exceptional luster, minimal bag marks, great eye appeal. The reverse is fully gem. Fabulous, fabulous. And there you see the S mint mark at six o'clock. We'll quickly scan over the 81S, 84O, 85O to the 87P. The last coin in the set, the 87P there you see, exceptional for a Philadelphia mint coin. The Philadelphia Mint coins don't really have the luster of some of those estimates. But for a Philadelphia Mint issue, this is superb. Again, we bought this complete, amazing hoard, folks. We cherry picked them. We, we bought them. We, uh, Jack and I just, you know, we, we went through the bags. We saw the quality. And we bought the entire deal. And we got some incredible specimens that we've hand selected. And we're passing our good fortune on to you. We have this five coin set, folks, for $119 a coin. $595 for our five coin introductory set. There isn't a better way to start off collecting Morgan dollars at $119 a coin for these beautiful, beautiful, brilliant uncirculated specimens. It struck a 90% silver, Morgan dollars, that we guarantee, we stand behind, folks, hand selected for only $595. So that's the introductory set. But then we have a 10 coin set. And this is really interesting here, folks. In the 10 coin set, you get the first, same five coins for the first five in the set. And then the next five coins are some rarer dates in the Morgan Dollar series. You've got the 1883O, 1886P, 1904O, 1921P, and a really, real bonus, what I call a bonus coin, an 1889P. Why is it a bonus coin? Well, let's go back to our Morgan dollar rarity chart. The 10 coin set includes those five dates and then number 6789. The 19040, 86P, 830, and the 21P. Those are all coins with certified populations over 100,000 in uncirculated condition. And then the 10th coin, you go to the second page. Our second page, though, this is where we get to some scarce Morgan dollars, really scarce Morgan dollars in uncirculated condition. This is what I call the scarce dates. And coin number 10 is highlighted in red there, the 1889P, only 55,000 certified in uncirculated condition. Okay, it's like a bonus coin. Take a look at the 1889P that we have in this set, folks. This rare, tough date in the series. The coin is spectacular. Look at the luster and the strike. It is absolutely spectacular. You know, that luster is so important. Vitally critical, folks. Next five coins in the 10 coin collection 
are rare coins in the Morgan date series. Here's a few comps on some of those dates. Here's an 1886 in MS-62 for about $500. And then that, that rarest key date, that 1889 P, there is one for $650. There is one for $500. Folks, if you can't afford the entire 20 coin collection, but if you can afford the 10 coin set, with the rare dates for $1,095, that's $109.50. The only reason Jack and I can do this, can swing this kind of opportunity again, is because we got an incredibly good fortune our way when we acquired this huge, huge hoard. Bags and bags of Morgan and Peace dollars that had been put away decades ago. And we cherry picked the finest examples. We got them at a great price. And we're passing our good fortune on to you today. 10 coins set at only $109.50 a coin. When dealers are asking approximately $500 a coin for similar examples. It's a great, great opportunity. Now, for the consummate collector, 20 coin set. When Jack and I went through these bags, we got real lucky when one of the bags turned up a mother load of two very scarce dates in mint state condition. The 1883P and the 1890P. How rare are they? Okay, let's go back to that second page. And you see all those coins highlighted in blue? Those are part of the 20 coin set. They're the scarce states with populations between 50,000 and 99,999. Now the next level of rarity are those with populations below 50,000. We go to that next page. You take a look at this, folks. The 1883P. They minted 12 million examples, but only 25,000 have been certified in all grades mint state condition. And the 1890P, 16,800,000 struck, but only 20,000 examples in mint state. The rarest coin in its class in the very scarce dates of the Morgan dollars. Now you take a look at these two examples that we have, folks. This is something we should not be able to offer at the price we have this set at, folks. Normally, it would be impossible, except for the fact that we acquired this complete collection and this one bag. We got incredibly lucky when there were these amazing 83 Ps and 1890 Ps. Look at one of these 1883 Ps, folks. I don't have words for it. This is such a tough date. When I first started buying and selling Morgan dollars in the 1980s, 1883P, even back then, a really hard date to get in uncirculated condition. Look at the luster on this and the strike for a Philadelphia mint. This is a superb specimen. This alone should be a $700, $800 coin. And then you have the 1890P. The 1890P, only 20,000 certified in all grades. Again, exceptional luster, fully struck, really choice mint state specimen. Extremely difficult date to get in mint state condition. We should not be able to offer these coins, folks. These rare dates at the price we have them for you today. The coins in this set, that's the first date in the series, 18, that's an 1878S, the first year of the Morgan Dollar Series. Next coin is a 1900 o Then you have an 1885P, 19010, 1896P, 1898O New Orleans Mint, and 1888O another New Orleans Mint, 19020 one of the last years of New Orleans Mint. And then you have the 1883P there and the 1890P, all 10 extremely elusive. Now the 78S is a four to $500 coin when you shop around 
and look to see what other dealers are asking. But then you get to the 1883P and the 1890P here. Here's an 1890P, $1,300. Here's another 1890p, a top-rated seller, 100% positive feedback, almost $1,800. So, folks, call in now. A limited time offer. We have the complete 20-coin set, folks, for under $115 a coin. Okay, this is where we wanted to really knock it out of the park. If you can acquire the 20-coin set, it's only $2,295, and here's what we're willing to do on the 20 coin set. We will offer it on a two payment option. So if you can't swing the entire $2,295, put half down today of $1,147.50, and we'll hold the entire 20 coin set for you. And that's critically important. You'll get all those rare dates and you get the 83P and the 1890P for under $115 a coin. It is a limited quantity, but we have enough to put these 20 coin sets together and offer them to you today at really a buy it now price of $2,295. $2,295 for this magnificent consummate collector 20 coin set of Morgan silver dollars for only $2,295. It comes in this really gorgeous cherry wood box that you see up above here. Every coin encapsulated, protected. It's completely protected in, the, in those capsules so you can pull it out, show it to your friends, and to think that you could get a 20 coin collection like this with so many rare dates, all beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated specimens for under $115 a coin when silver has been really skyrocketing in value and yet we're able to come out with this collection for under $115 a coin for these really conditionally rare Morgan dollars. It's really a buy it now opportunity, folks, because there you get all those rare dates plus those two incredible bonus coins the 1883P and the 1890P. Those coins by themselves should be $1,000, just those two coins. And we've got the entire set for only $2,295. Available on the two payment plan. Call in now, order now, folks, while we have those rare dates. Those are going to be the first dates that we're going to run out of as these sets sell. So this is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity it is truly the great American silver dollar hoard, folks. And that 20 coin set, it's a consummate Morgan dollar collector set. Here you have 20% of the entire Morgan dollar series in beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated condition for less than $2,300. I hope you can take advantage of it. It's under $115 a coin for beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated specimens. Thank you for watching. The Morgan Silver Dollar has long been considered America's favorite collectible coin. And today, you can add these comprehensive sets of rare Morgan Silver Dollars to your numismatic collection. The stunning 5, 10, and 20 Morgan Silver Dollar sets that Rick is offering today come in brilliant uncirculated condition. On the Sheldon scale, a brilliant uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of mint state 60, and each of these silver Morgans has been personally inspected by the numismatic experts here at Rare Collectibles TV to make sure that they are in brilliant uncirculated condition. Mint state coins are coins that were produced for commerce. These coins were distributed from banks around the country and circulated for years. To find Morgan Silver dollars like these that are in brilliant uncirculated condition is simply difficult to do. Each of the iconic Morgan Silver dollars in these magnificent sets has a different year or mint mark, ensuring that you receive a diverse group of Morgan dollars. Due to the Pittman Act of 1918, over 270 million Morgan Silver dollars were melted down. That's nearly half of all Morgan dollars ever struck. 
And with only about 1.7% of all Morgan silver dollars ever struck being graded in uncirculated condition between PCGS and NGC, brilliant uncirculated examples like these are known as condition rarities. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. And now today, you can add a set of five stunning Morgan dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of $595. That's just $119 per coin. Included in this five coin set is the 1881S, known for being among the most lustrous and well-struck Morgans in the series. In addition, you will also receive the 1879S and 1887P, which are even more difficult to acquire in brilliant uncirculated condition than the 1881S. And if you desire even more brilliant uncirculated Morgan dollars, then our set of 10 remarkable Morgans is available for only $1,095. That's less than $110 per coin. Not only will you receive all the coins of the five coin set, you will also receive the legendary 1921P Morgan dollars, as well as the 1889P. The 1921P is a collector favorite, as 1921 marks the final year in which the Morgan silver dollar was issued. And the 1889P is the key date of this set, as it has a significantly smaller, brilliant, uncirculated population than the other coins included. But wait, there's more. As the best offer of all, you can acquire our comprehensive set of 20 Morgan dollars for the low price of only $2,295. That's less than $115 per coin. This set is comprised of some of the most historic Morgan dollars ever issued. That includes all of the coins listed so far, a highly sought after 1878S first year of issue Morgan, as well as the 1883p and 1890p, which are known as two of the most difficult Morgan dollars to acquire in brilliant uncirculated condition. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete, full 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited time offer. Call the number on your screen right now to take advantage of this special numismatic offer and bring this eclectic set of 20 stunning Morgan silver dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition to your collection. Call now. The preceding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There's nothing I enjoy more than helping our viewers build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins, but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high-grade, high-quality examples of certain hard-to-find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's US Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious coin shows, private collections, and dealer inventories across the country. All to help you build the numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative that you would like to be connected with a member of our Private Advisory Coin Team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack, and James on Rick's U.S. Coin Show, right here on Rare Collectibles TV. The following is a paid presentation brought to you by Rare Collectibles TV. The California Gold Rush is considered to be one of the most impactful events to affect America's young economy during its first 100 years. And it has certainly had a long-lasting impression in numismatic history as well. The people of California soon needed a way to standardize the value of the new gold, so they set up assayers' offices. 
the assayer's offices declared the value of the gold, melted the gold into bars, and shipped the bars across the country to the Philadelphia Mint to make gold coins. At the time, the largest U.S. coin was the $10 Liberty Head Gold Eagle. This surge of new gold circulating throughout the economy sparked the idea of a new, larger gold coin. The new Liberty Head coin was designed by the fourth chief engraver of the U.S. Mint, James Barton Longacre. It was called the Coronet Head $20 coin. But since this new coin was twice the value of the $10 eagle, it was soon nicknamed the Double Eagle. The Double Eagle was first struck in 1849 as a proof coin. Only one of these coins is known to exist and today resides in the Smithsonian. The Liberty Head Double Eagle, composed of 90% gold and 10% copper, was an instant commercial success that was heavily used by merchants and banks. The obverse of this $20 gold coin portrays a beautiful rendition of Lady Liberty, adorned by a coronet inscribed with the word Liberty. The reverse of this coin depicts a victorious heraldic eagle. The Liberty Head Double Eagle was struck from 1850 to 1907 until it was replaced by the St. Gaudens Double Eagle. But a large majority of these gold coins were confiscated and melted down in 1933 as a result of President Roosevelt's Executive Order 6102. However, a few enterprising individuals decided to hide some of these gold coins in Europe, and they have stayed hidden for 85 years until now. Here to tell you more about the European Bank Hoard and the Liberty Head Double Eagle is numismatic expert Rick Tomaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tomaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy Half Dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and Mint State coin collections in the United States. Rick Tomaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about the European Bank Hoard and the Liberty Head Double Eagle is numismatic expert Rick Tomaska. I have got an incredibly exciting gold opportunity for you today. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is I have real limited quantities of this coin. They're in mint state condition, folks, and they're Smithsonian quality. Now, the Smithsonian has the finest collection of United States coins in the world. In fact, they own what is considered the single most valuable coin in all of U.S. numismatics. It's the first double eagle ever struck. This is the only surviving example. It's in the Smithsonian. It's in 1849. This is the first time they ever struck a double eagle. Up to that point, the largest gold coin was a $10 gold piece that they called the eagle. The eagle was just about a half an ounce of gold. It was then that they discovered gold in California in 1848. So now our country had this abundance of gold, and they were able to strike an even larger gold coin, which was of incredible help to the banking system because it allowed the banks to make those larger transactions that much easier if they had double eagles to work with instead of eagles. So the Mint began striking the double eagle and they had the, a couple of these that they struck in 1849. It was called the double eagle because it was twice the size of the eagle with about an ounce of gold. They're large, heavy coins. A double eagle, folks, I have a couple right here. Well, they're a little bit smaller in diameter than a Morgan dollar. A Morgan dollar is a very large silver coin. They're a little bit smaller in diameter than a Morgan dollar. They're about 25 to 30% heavier than a Morgan dollar. Because again, this is about a full ounce, close, close to a full ounce of gold in a double eagle. The examples I have today, folks, are from the 19th century. And I have them in MS-62. We have a limited quantity of these. I've got, I think, 15 on display right now. Coins are graded on a 70-point grading system. It's called the Sheldon grading system. 
from a low of one, which is a heavily worn coin where you can barely read the date, to a high of 70, which represents perfection. There are no gold double eagles in MS-70 or MS-69 or even MS-68. MS-60 is the lowest mint state grade. It represents a coin that has never been in circulation. Anything below an MS-60 is a coin that's been in circulation. MS-60 is a coin that's never been in circulation, but it has an abundance of um, bag marks and, and abrasions because of the process of minting the coins. These coins were struck for commerce, folks. You have to understand that they were struck, ejected from the coin press into a bin where they abraded with other coins. Again, these are really heavy coins. Gold is a very soft metal. And from there, they would be go through coin counting machines, they would be dumped into bags and then shipped to banks throughout the country. During that process, they're abrading them with one another. Even though it was never in circulation, you could see a lot of abrasions over the surface of the coin. Now that is a superior grade though for a Liberty Double Eagle because typically, again, because of the weight of these coins, they're usually gouged and dinged to a degree where they're not even gradable. Here, for example, is a 1903 that I have in my hand. And we're gonna rotate it around and you could see, look at the deep gouge in Liberty's jaw there. If you set this to a grading service, they call it damaged. Let's take a look at a couple examples that we have here, folks. You'll notice a noticeable difference. MS-62 is an exceptional grade. Again, the example in the Smithsonian is MS-62. So the 62s you see here are Smithsonian quality. This is a rare date. You look at this coin, folks. This is an incredible quality for an 1899 Liberty Double Eagle. I mean, only the lightest abrasions on the surface of this coin. And the reverse is, I mean, really fully gem. It's spectacular. And again, when you compare it to an MS-60, you can see the difference. This is a mid-state coin but it's what you would typically expect to find in a gradable Liberty Double Eagle. To give you an idea of how rare these coins are, I made a little chart of some of the Double Eagles that we have offered over the last six, seven years. And I have them ranked from some of the most common issues to some of the rarest issues that we've been able to offer. In the St. Gaudens series, the most common issue is the 1924P. They've certified around 300,000 examples at PCGS. These are PCGS population totals, of which almost 50,000 are MS-65 uh, gem quality. And, and you go down the chart there. And then you get to the Liberty series. Now there is one date that is the most common in the series, the 1904P. And then you have the second most common date, the 1900P. It's almost four times rare. But then look at the 1899Ps. Only 19,000 coins. This is a key date, folks. It is so exciting. These coins that you're looking at, they really should not exist. Let me repeat that. These 1899Ps in MS-62 really should not exist. The story really begins with the Great Depression. Great Depression uh, was economic disaster for this country. We had unemployment around 25, 30%, and this was going on for years. So the Great Depression started in the late 20s, and it continued on for years, folks. 1933, it was estimated that there were approximately 4,000 bank failures. Think about that, 4,000 bank failures in 1933 alone. This is in 1933. So imagine all these citizens with their life savings in the bank, their nest egg that they had accumulated over 20, 30 years. That was gonna be for their retirement. And they go to the bank the next day and the banks closed, shuttered closed. They had failed. You were wiped out. And this was hitting millions of Americans. 
Well, there was panic among all the citizenry because for all those citizens who had money in banks that had not failed, they had to wonder if their bank was going to be next. So what they began to do is to pull their money out of the banks because who knows what this paper money could be worth, you know, in, <laughs> in a year or two or five years. Again, this is 1933 during the Great Depression. With that paper money, they began to buy gold coins. Gold coins, folks, because that's the one thing they knew throughout human history, through cultures around the world, going back to Egyptian times, gold has always had value. Gold has always had value going back thousands of years. And so they were pulling their money and buying gold coins. Now this created additional st stress on our banking system. So in early 1933, Franklin Roosevelt, then president, newly elected, passed Executive Order 6102. He had to stop this process of people pulling their money out of the banks and buying the gold coins. Executive Order 6102 made it illegal, illegal to own over $100 worth of gold coin, gold bullion, or gold certificates. Now, gold back then was around $20 an ounce, so $100 worth of gold meant you could only own a maximum of five gold double eagles at $20 each. That was it. If you had over $100 worth of gold double eagles, you had to turn them in to the treasury. And folks, they enforced it. If you did not turn your gold in and you were caught with over $100 worth of gold, you faced up to 10 years imprisonment, a $10,000 fine, or both. And so citizens began, well, they had to, they were stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, they began turning their gold into to the treasury in exchange for paper money. And fully 39% of all the gold double eagles ever struck were then melted down by the treasury back into bullion, forever gone. That's over 50 million coins. Now, here's where these 1899 double eagles come in. There were a lot of citizens who had the means who said to themselves, okay, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's illegal to own $100 worth of gold, but if I leave my money in the bank, that bank could fail tomorrow and I'm wiped out. So before that deadline, where that executive order was in force, 6102, they began buying coins and they had them shipped to banks in Europe. Because while it may have been illegal to own over $100 worth of gold in this country, there's nothing that said you couldn't own over $100 worth of gold in another country. So a lot of citizens and institutions as well in the United States began shipping gold as payment and, and for safe storage to banks in Europe. They've been sitting in those banks in Europe since the 1930s. Now, most of the gold double eagles shipped to those banks were of the more recent vintage. For example, you saw the 1924 P's. PCGS has graded over 300,000 examples. Most of those came out of the Great European Bank Hoard. Those 1904 P Liberties, most of those came out of the Great European Bank Hoard. But you saw very few bags of earlier dates, like the 1899P. Understandably, as you go back in time, there are fewer of those coins around that were still uncirculated. There were very few bags, folks, of the 1899P. I found some 1904Ps, which is the most common date. It's hard to find records for 1899Ps. Just to give you a reference point, folks, Again, this is the most common date, and these are, here's one that's uh, asking prices over 4,500 for an MS-62. The 1899 P's that we have are over 10 times rarer in this condition than the 1904 P. Here's another 1904 P, $4,200 for an MS-62. When we have the good fortune to come upon a really exceptional deal at, great, at a great price, we pass our good fortune on to you. 
we got these 1899 P's. Well, here we have gold, again, it's been bouncing around $1,900 an ounce. We have these at such a great price for you folks. This is historic. These 1899 P's that you're looking at, again, we have a limited quantity. Call in now. This is a small window of opportunity. One thing I have to really impress upon you, these are not bullion coins. These are rare numismatic coins. There was an article that came out, and I'm going to quote you uh, a sentence from that article because it's what I've been telling our clients here, our you folks, our viewers here, for the last several years. Here's the quote. This is really important. There has not been a time in recent memory when pre-1933 gold coins were obtainable for so little over spot. An 1899p is a much rarer coin. This is a small window of opportunity to get a rare date like this. Call in now. We have a limited quantity of these 1899p's. Call in now, folks. This is a coin that I could price at $49.95 in MS62, and you'd be getting a very, very good deal. You know, you'd be getting a coin that's, uh, again, with gold at close to $2,000 an ounce. $39.95 for an MS62 would be an exceptional price, but it's not based on our cost. Call in now. I'm able to offer these MS62s that you see here today. I have a limited quantity of these coins in MS62 condition, Smithsonian quality. That's the grade of the example in the Smithsonian. $3,295 a coin. $3,295 a coin. Call in now if you put half down today. $1,647.50, we will put one of these aside for you. Put your name on it, put it in our vault. And that, again, is so important because when we get these opportunities, especially when it's a rare date like this, once we sell out, they're gone. You know, it's, we can't replace them at that price. So you put half down today, we will reserve one of these coins for you, pay the balance in 30 days. $3,295 a coin. Half down today, $1,647.50, and we will reserve an 1899P. Smithsonian quality MS62 condition. I mean, look at this quality, folks. This is a coin, again, they were struck for commerce. These heavy gold double eagles, the largest denomination ever struck in gold by the U.S. Mint with about an ounce of gold to survive in this so close to mark-free condition, MS-62, is a miracle. And we're able to offer them for half down today of only $1,647.50. We've got a lot of people calling in here. The lines are lighting up. This is amazing quality for an 1899P. Again, there are only 65 examples graded at MS65. You know, there are, I mean, this is an extraordinary grade for an 1899P. Extraordinary. Look at this coin. I mean, it looks like it could have been struck yesterday. Again, remember, they are struck for commerce, ejected from the press, where they'd fall into a bin. One coin would fall on top of another. They would have deep gouges. To survive in this MS-62 is a miracle. If you put half down today of only $1,647.50, we will put one of these aside for you. Put your name on it, put it in our vault. This is extraordinary. To give you an idea, again, if you're new to numismatics, how extraordinary this is. I opened the presentation talking about the first double eagles ever struck. This is an 1849 the single most valuable coin in all of U.S. numismatics. It's valued in the tens of millions, maybe the hundreds of millions of dollars. First struck in 1849. They only struck two examples, folks. They only struck two examples. You take a look at this coin, the obverse, and this is most educational, 
My guess is this particular piece was the very first example struck. It was ejected from the die press, fell into the bin with the obverse facing up. The second example that was struck, the rim of that coin hit right below Liberty's cheek there at 8 o'clock in the field. Those are called reading marks. Again, they're really heavy coins. They're 25 to 30% heavier than Morgan dollars. Gold is a very soft metal, and those are typical bag marks you see on gold double eagles. Even though they only struck two examples, they didn't have to rattle, rattle around in bags or anything. They only struck two examples with reading marks that deep in the surface of the coin. At best, it's an MS-63. And here, by really, a truly, a, a miraculous circumstances, we've got this amazing small group. We've got a lot of people calling in. The 1899P Liberty Double Eagle, extremely rare. Uh, it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity at these kinds of prices. When we have gold, it's, you know, it's just been skyrocketing in value. But again, these are not bullion coins. The best part is the premium that we have on these coins is so small when you consider the rarity. There's so much upside potential in these extraordinary 1899P Liberty Double Eagles MS-62s. Again, half down today for an MS-62. The Smithsonian specimen is an MS-62. You're getting a Smithsonian quality half down today of only $1,647.50. And we will reserve one of these coins for you with your name on it, put it in our vault, pay the balance of 30 days. Call in now. This is a very, very limited time offer, folks, to get this rare date in this condition, really, as uh, the host of Rick's U.S. Coin Show. This is what I really love to do. This is what really makes my day, to be able to offer you an incredible double eagle that I know is truly exceptional for the date. At these kind of prices, most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading services in the country, PCGS and NGC. This guarantees you that the coin you get from us is the grade that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. The 1899P Liberty Head Double Eagles that Rick is offering today are graded Mint State 62. That's the grade of a brilliant uncirculated coin. The Smithsonian Institution, which is known for having the finest gold collection in the whole world, has an 1899P Liberty Head Double Eagle in MS-62 condition. That's the same grade that we have today. The Liberty Head Double Eagle, designed by James B. Longacre, was minted from 1849 to 1907 and is the first United States coin of the $20 denomination. Out of all 1899P Liberty Head Gold Double Eagles released by the U.S. Mint, the population of Mint State 62 examples is about 1%. Now that's what Rick calls condition rarity. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. And even less of these coins still exist. Since a large majority of these coins were confiscated and melted down in 1933 as a result of President Roosevelt's Executive Order 6102. 41 years later, this act was repealed by a bill signed by President Gerald Ford in 1974, and private ownership of gold coins in the U.S. was once again legal. These 1899P Liberty Head examples are some of the few double eagles that miraculously managed to escape Executive Order 6102. This evasion was done by shipping bags of these gold coins to Europe to be held over the years. If it had not been for the European bank hoard, these coins would not exist today. And now today, you can add this European bank hoard, 1899P Liberty Head Gold Double Eagle, in Mint State 62 condition, to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $3,295. And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $1,647.50 
and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. The Liberty Head Double Eagle is a magnificent coin to add to an existing collection or to start a beautiful new collection that you will adore for years. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. These coins are in limited supply and this is a limited time offer. Call the number on your screen right now and order the stunning 1899p Liberty Head Double Eagle in Mint State 62 condition for only two low payments of $1,647.50. Call now. The examples I have today, folks, are from the 19th century, and I have them in MS-62. We have a limited quantity of these. I've got, I think, 15 on display right now. MS-62 is an exceptional grade. Again, the, the example in the Smithsonian is MS-62. So the 62s you see here are Smithsonian quality. This is a rare date. You look at this coin, folks. This is an incredible quality for an 1899 Liberty Double Eagle. I mean, only the lightest abrasions on the surface of this coin. And the reverse is, I mean, really fully gem. It's spectacular. This is a key date, folks. It is so exciting. These coins that you're looking at, they really should not exist. Let me repeat that. These 1899Ps in MS-62 really should not exist. Our miraculous circumstances. We've got this amazing small group. We've got a lot of people calling in. The 1899P Liberty Double Eagle, extremely rare. Uh, it's truly a once in a lifetime opportunity at these kinds of prices. When we have gold, it's, you know, it's just been skyrocketing in value. But again, these are not bullion coins. The best part is, the premium that we have on these coins is so small when you consider the rarity. There's so much upside potential in these extraordinary 1899P Liberty Double Eagles. This is what really makes my day, to be able to offer you an incredible Double Eagle that I know is truly exceptional for the date. At these kind of prices, this is what I love to do, folks. I hope you can take advantage of it. The preceding was a paid presentation brought to you by Rare Collectibles TV. What's your favorite coin? Morgan Silver Dollars, Buffalo Nickels, American Silver Eagles, Lincoln Wheaties, Walking Liberty Half Dollars, Standing Liberty Quarters, Franklin Half Dollars. My personal favorite, Ancients. Kennedy Half Dollars. Cameo Proof Coins. Pandas. Steel Scent. Liberty Head and St. Gordon's Double Eagles. Eisenhower Dollars. Some say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I say it's a gold St. Gordon's. Peace Dollars. Coins from the Screw Press era. Cap Bust Halves. Can't choose? You don't have to. Rick, James, and Jack have all your favorite coins and at great collector-friendly prices. For the best in coin collecting, watch Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. After four devastating years of intense and deadly battling, the Allied powers of the United States, France, and England had prevailed over the central powers of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. 
World War I had finally come to an end. Now that the catastrophic combat of World War I had concluded, the United States Mint began working on a new silver dollar, a symbolic dollar of unparalleled significance and unmatched beauty. Not only did this new silver dollar have to be designed with the important mission of celebrating the restoration of peace to Earth after World War I's destructive path had ceased, but it also had to replace the mesmerizing and beloved design of the Morgan silver dollar. Anthony de Francisi, the designer of this iconic silver dollar, triumphed in his mission to produce this monumental coin, which was minted from 1921 to 1928 and once again from 1934 to 1935. The obverse of this stunning coin displays a beautiful rendition of Lady Liberty, adorned by a crown of rays. In order to draw inspiration for this portrait of Lady Liberty, Francisi looked to his wife, Teresa, who acted as both his model and his muse. The reverse of the peace dollar depicts a perched eagle with an olive branch of peace in its talons. This eagle gazes forward towards the rays of the rising sun with hope, inspiration, and the spirit of freedom. This stunning imagery is symbolic of the new peaceful beginning that the world would now embark on. Struck nearly 100 years ago, silver peace dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition are only available in limited quantities. On the Sheldon scale of grading, a brilliant uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of mint state 60. Mint state coins are coins that were produced for commerce. These coins are distributed from banks around the country and circulated for years. As a result, finding silver piece dollars that are in brilliant uncirculated condition is simply difficult to do. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. Here to tell you more about the stunning silver piece dollar are coin experts Rick Tamaska and Jack McNamara. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for mint state Franklin half dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Jack McNamara is a highly regarded numismatic expert and the co-founder of Rare Collectibles TV. Coin collecting is his lifelong passion. It is in his bloodline. His family lived and breathed numismatics. From his great-grandfather's example in the early 1900s to his childhood lessons from his grandfather, Jack was hooked. This is not just a passionate hobby, but this is his life's work. He started off his career as a trusted buyer and seller at the most prestigious numismatic auction house in America, Stax, where he helped both new and more sophisticated collectors realize the collections of their dreams. Jack brings 25 years of experience, expertise, and success to Rare Collectibles TV. As our expert and senior coin buyer, Jack leads our private advisory coin team, ensuring collectors the ultimate rarities, the finest grades, the highest value, and the best possible offers to be found anywhere. He makes deals happen and builds world-class collections. As a respected member of the Professional Numismatist Guild and a contributor to Whitman's official Red Book, as well as being a lifetime member of the American Numismatic Association, Jack McNamara is respected and recognized as a dream maker for collectors. Tens of thousands of satisfied customers agree. Here to tell you more about the stunning silver piece dollar are coin experts Rick Tamaska and Jack McNamara. We certainly do have something incredibly special today. It's from the great American silver dollar hoard. And there are some extraordinary peace dollars. Now, I, Jack, I personally really love the peace dollar series. 
piece always have a lot of rare dates in it that are a great, great value right now. Right. And I want to show you a chart I spent some time putting together to give you an idea of the opportunity these coins offer. I call them super silver, folks, because you look at where silver was in the year 2012, it was around $32.50 an ounce. You and I have never touched the speculation aspect of what the future of silver is going to be, because frankly, right. we have no idea. But what we do know is numismatic, rare silver dollars have a special place because of their numismatic rarity. You look at back on that chart in that same time frame. Jack and I were offering mint state peace dollars back then. And at that time, you could get an entire set. We're offering it for around $4,000. Right. And here, while silver bullion has gone down tremendously in value, the value of a mint state peace dollar set has increased incredibly over the same time period because of the numismatic rarity right. of uncirculated peace dollars. Now, this is really important. We're talking about mint state uncirculated peace dollars. Right. These aren't just those worn out coins that right. got used and abused and passed through change. These are coins that have been somehow by some miracle just never made it out into never the banking into system commerce. and never made it to commerce. And as soon as they came out, they got put away. And what we're talking about, for example, Sasha's got an example of a peace dollar that was used in commerce. There, you know, they were they were used in daily transactions. The vast majority of peace dollars were used in commerce, and they received a lot of wear. We're not offering you those kinds of coins, folks. There's one in 1921, and you and you look at the reverse. You can't see any feather detail on the eagle at this point, and that's a better piece, but it is you know definitely circulated. The peace dollars we're talking about are uncirculated in mint state condition, in mint right. state 60 and higher condition. Now, for those of you who are new to numismatics, what does mint state 60 mean, Jack? So when we grade coins, we now use a numeric scale. It's called the Sheldon scale. It's a 70 point system. So 70 is an absolutely flawless, perfect coin, even under magnification. Of which they don't exist. No such thing as a peace dollar. Only coins that are yeah. you know, produced in the last 20 years or so right. are, are going to exist in that kind of a condition with the technology. They, they don't even exist in 6.9. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah. Peace yeah. dollars don't even exist in 6.9. A grade of one would be something just recognizable. But the coins as collectors we're looking for are those that grade 60 or higher. And those are the coins that we call mint state or you might hear us call them brilliant uncirculated. Right. They're coins that have no wear. They're coins that are basically as made, right, exactly. and the difference from a 60 to a higher grade is just, I mean, the way these coins were made, they, they, the intention was for them to circulate, but they never did. But a MS-60 coin is a coin that maybe was struck, it goes into a hopper with other coins where they count them, they sort them, they put them in bags where they then transport them then to the banks and things. So they're going to have some abrasions against other coins. They all or, have abrasions, Or bag right. marks, yeah, as we call yeah, them. Yeah. So a 60 or higher is a coin with no wear, though, a coin that never circulated. And there, this is where the peace dollars are really rare, folks. And this is what we're, we're offering you today, the coins with condition rarity. And there's a chart here that shows you how really rare these peace dollars are when you were talking about uncirculated peace dollars. This is the most startling figure, Jack. They struck almost 200 million peace dollars through the entirety of the series. First year of the series was 1921, last struck in 1935. They struck 190 million peace dollars during that period. But of that 190 million, PCGS and NGC combined have graded less than 1% in uncirculated condition. Right. Less than 1%, folks. And that's what we have for you today. We have those coins that are at the peak, the Everest of desirability, those, that tiny fraction of 1% that have survived in uncirculated condition that we have pulled out from the great American silver dollar hoard. And we've got a 10 coin special on these. I'd like you to see these coins that Jack and I have for you. They're the 1923P, and 1922p peace dollars in mint state condition. These are beautiful 
These are the kind of coins that 10, 20 years from now have tremendous, tremendous future potential. As you saw just by that one chart, where here we had silver dropping tremendously in value. And during that same time frame, mint state peace dollars have increased because of their condition rarity in uncirculated condition. It's a simple law of supply and demand. There's a really limited supply of these coins. Folks, the key to our success is you folks watching today. Because we have, Jack and I, this philosophy that when we get a great deal, like we got with uh, buying this entire great American silver dollar hoard, and several right. dozen bags, we got them at a great price, and we pass our good fortune on to you. Right. And we have a 10 coin half roll and a 20 coin full roll of peace dollars to offer today. And the half roll 1922 P's and the 1923 P's. Again, in mint state condition, uncircuit. Look at these. Jack, look at the cartwheel luster on yeah, these so coins. they're so flashy, these coins. I mean, again, folks, these are huge, heavy coins. They're all going to have marks. For a coin to have so few marks, Jack, to me, it's kind of shocking. Yeah. When you consider the process, there's coins are struck, ejected into a bin. Right. One coin falls on top of another. They go through coin counting machines, thrown into bags, dumped onto trains, shipped right. throughout the country. How does it survive in right. the condition you see here? So right. near mark free. And those bags, they're thousands they're heavy. of bags. There's a thousand coins in there. They're about 55 pounds. The guys who are putting those in the wheelbarrow to put it on the train, they're not like gently, tenderly putting, they're tossing these bags because they're heavy as heck. Take a look at these folks. They're gorgeous. We hand picked these really the finest specimens from this hoard. They look like they were struck yesterday, over 100 years old. And they're just, I mean, they're glorious. Look at the, the light reflecting off of that. They're so lustrous. And there's a great, great story behind that picture of liberty you see on the obverse. They're called the peace dollars because, well, we had just survived World War I. That was going to be the war, war that ended all wars. Right. But this peace dollar was originally designed by Anthony De Francisi, who was an immigrant to this country. Right. And he was a surprise selection because he had never designed a coin before. Yeah. But the committee loved it, his design. And here's a picture of Anthony with the model that he used for the peace dollar. That woman you see is his wife, Teresa. And that's the model for the peace dollar. And there's a wonderful story behind this because Teresa, years later, I've got a letter she wrote to her brother Rocco. And it's really incredible. It's a great story. It's a great story. And yeah. so incredibly uh, touching because they were so grateful to be uh, able to emigrate to this it's a, country. It's an American story. Yeah, it's the you know, American story. The American dream. Yeah, it truly is. Uh, she wrote, writes in this letter to her brother Rocco. You remember how I was always posing as liberty and how broken-hearted I was when some other little girl was selected to play the role in the patriotic exercises in school. I thought of those days often while sitting as a model for Tony's design and now seeing myself as Miss Liberty on the new coin, it seems like the realization of my fondest childhood dream. Yeah, because you have to remember when they immigrated here, they came right through New York Harbor, right yeah. past the Statue of Liberty, and that was an image that just stayed with them. She was the first life. first Italian immigrant to graduate from her high school, I believe, it was in Massachusetts. Okay. This was a, again in the early 1900s, folks, and and there you have that portrait of her for the peace dollar design. Folks, these peace dollars represent the end of the Renaissance era, the final coin design to come out of the Renaissance era. The Renaissance era began with Theodore Roosevelt. He uh, described the, our coins to the Secretary of Se Treasury Shaw as of atrocious hideousness. Yeah. <laughs> and so he enlisted the services of Augusta St. Gaudens to redesign all our coins. Right, and St. Gaudens was the premier artist of the day. Yeah, and this was in 1906. Uh, Augusta St. Gaudens agreed to redesign all our coins.
Unfortunately, he died in 1907. Yeah, he was in failing health. He at that was point. only able to redesign two coins: the $20 gold piece and the $10 gold piece. Right. But there was still no new silver dollar design. They were still striking the old Morgan dollars. Right. Uh, in 1921. So in that late 1921, they finally had the new redesign by Anthony De Francisi, with his again his wife as the model, to create this final new design, the final design from the Renaissance era, the Peace Dollar, a really beautiful classic. Now, when you find these coins, they can go for some very very high prices. Again. When we get a great deal, we love passing our good fortune on to you. And the peace dollars are such a screaming buy right now at the prices we have them at. They have so much future potential for the collector of today. Uh, these are coins to put away. These are coins that just have so much history behind them. These are national treasures. We've got a 10 coin roll. Five of each, 1922 P's and 1923 P's. We have these for only $69.50 a coin. The entire 10 coin roll for $695. $695 when you have dealers selling individual pieces for $275, $450, even $1,800. We have them for $695 for 10 coins. 10 beautiful, brilliant, uncirculated specimens. They're all hand selected for beautiful, brilliant surfaces, full bold strikes, minimal marks, just tremendous eye appeal. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you get a mint state coin, a brilliant uncirculated coin that's over 100 years old? And to get them for less than $70? How do they even survive in the first place? They're so hard to find nowadays in the condition you see them in. And once we run out of these from this great American silver dollar hoard, that'll be it at these kinds of price levels. I have no idea what silver might be in the years ahead, but I think at, at this point, this is the perfect time to acquire some of these really conditionally, really rare, really beautiful early peace dollars. The 10 coin set for only $695. Now, the grand prize. <laughs> Folks, we've got a 20 coin roll. In the 20 coin roll, we have two really special coins. Out of all those bags, we had very few of these examples. Because what we're going to add, if you get the 20 coin roll, is a 1924 P and a 1925 P. Yeah, much rarer. Coins. And these coins are five, six times rarer than the 23 P and the 22 P. And as you can see, the 23 P at the top, they've graded around 315,000 examples in mint state. 22 P. Quite a bit rare, only about 200,000 in mint state. You get to the bottom there, you see some Garson City dollars that sell for three, four, five hundred dollars, folks, like the 84 cc, 83 cc, that are not as rare as the 25 p and the 24 p that we have here today. These are really, really elusive, and when you get the 20 coin roll, you get one of each. The 20 coin roll comes to $64.75 a coin. In other words, you're getting the 20 coin roll at a lower price per coin than in the 10 coin roll. So that's the deal we're giving you, $1,295 for the 20 coin roll. If you can't swing the entire $1,295 today, we offer the two payment option where all you have to do is put half down today of $647.50 and we will hold one of these rolls for you and pay the balance in 30 days. We'll hold one of these rolls for you with your name on it. By the way, we don't just stack them in rolls. We have a special clamshell type holder which, which separates the coins so right. that they don't abrade with one another. Right, it protects them from banging into each other and, and getting any damage or exact, uh, you know, heavy bag marks or anything like that. Look at this 24P, folks. Look at the 
feathers on the eagle, no heavy abrasion, no deep cuts or, or gouges. Again, Jack, like you said, a coin almost 100 years old, struck for commerce, that was dumped into a bin, one coin falling on top of another. They went through coin counting machines. They didn't receive the special kind of treatment the mint right. gives today right. for silver dollars. Right, and on top of it, they're large coins. So, I mean, there's a lot of weight when they're banging against each they're other. They're large. And yeah. also, it's a large flat area. So, the, anything yeah. that abrades against it, you know, you have that big open cheek and that big wide field there. The marks just, you know, it's, an e it's easy to yes. mark that yeah. area up. You look, you look at the strike detail, all the hair detail, mm -hmm. full strike in all the areas, 1925, that beautiful cartwheel luster. All for $64.75 a coin for the 20 coin roll, and you get a 24P and a 25P when you get the 20 coin roll. In other words, when you get the 20 co coin roll, folks, you're going to get nine 1922Ps nine 1923Ps and one 24P and one 25P, two extremely elusive pieces in mint state condition, all for $1,295. Jack, we got a lot of folks calling in on this. The lines are lighting up on this. This is an incredibly exciting opportunity here to get some extremely conditionally rare, beautiful peace dollars. For just under $70 a coin, it includes a 24P and a 25P, a limited time offer. Again, the only reason we're able to offer these kinds of coins with a 24P and a 25P is because when we bought that great American silver dollar hoard, there were some 24Ps in there, some 25Ps that we've been able to include in the 20 coin roll. But when those are gone, like so many of our offers in the past, we were, right. uh, were no longer able to offer these kinds of sets at these prices. Take a look at all of these. 1922 P's, 1923 P's. The first year they were struck was 1921. The last year they were struck was 1935. There have not been any silver dollars struck for commerce since then. 1935 was the last year a coin, a silver dollar was struck for commerce. There have been dollars struck for commerce, but they weren't silver. You right. had clad Eisenhower dollars, you had clad Susan B. Anthony dollars, but you didn't have silver dollars. These are 90% silver coins from the Renaissance era, which went, spanned the years from 1907, from the first Renaissance era coins, to 1921, which was the uh, first year of the peace dollar design. And that's what we have for you today, these beautiful Renaissance era peace dollars in mint state condition. This is where they have tremendous condition rarity. Again, I wanna point this out one last time because so few of these coins have survived in this uncirculated condition. This is really, really important. I like to re refer to these peace dollars as super silver. You can see that this just the peace dollar series. In that same year of 2012, a peace dollar set in MS-60 was around $4,000. And here we are in the latest price guide. They're almost $6,000. So they've gone up almost 50% in value despite silver dropping in value because of the rarity of these coins in mint state condition. Right, because it's all, like we said, a factor of supply and demand. A very limited supply of these coins, very That's limited. Right. And the demand just continues to increase as more people realize how undervalued these coins are. It's a limited supply. More and more of the surviving uncirculated examples are going into collector sets. They're going in for the long term. People are buying them not just for themselves, but for their kids, their grandkids, because they're just not, it's not just about money. It's about our history. Mm -hmm. it tells the story of America. Right. These are national treasures, folks. These are coins that uh, they were struck once a long time ago, will never be struck again. And some of these are over 100 years old. Now is the time to get what we offer for you today. Get the half roll. You can get the half roll for only $695.
where you get the full roll of 20 that includes the really elusive, very scarce 1924p and 1925p. The entire 20 coin roll for only $1,295. The Silver Peace Dollar, designed by Anthony D. Francisi, was created and minted to celebrate the restoration of peace after World War I had ended. For this reason, the Peace Dollar has maintained its reputation as one of America's most beautiful and symbolic coins. The Silver Peace Dollar rolls that we are offering today come in brilliant uncirculated condition. On the Sheldon scale of grading standards, a brilliant uncirculated coin would grade a minimum of mint state 60. Each of the coins in these silver piece dollar rolls has been personally inspected by the numismatic experts here at Rare Collectibles TV to make sure that they are in stunning, brilliant, uncirculated condition. Mint state coins are coins that were produced for commerce. These coins are distributed from banks around the country and circulated for years. To find silver piece dollars like these that are in brilliant uncirculated condition is simply difficult to do. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. Out of all the piece dollar issues included in these rolls, three dates have brilliant uncirculated graded populations of 1% or less of their entire mintages. Now that's what Rick calls condition rarity. And now today, you can add a roll of 10 silver piece dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $695. These rolls contain five brilliant uncirculated examples, each of the 1922 and 1923 piece dollars. That's almost eight ounces of silver. But wait, there's more. You can also add a roll of 20 piece dollars to your collection for only $1,295. And listen to this, within every roll of 20 stunning piece dollars that you purchase, you will receive one example each of the rarer 1924 and 1925 piece dollars, as well as nine 1922 and nine 1923 piece dollars. That's over 15 ounces of silver. And don't forget, when you order a roll of 20 piece dollars, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $647.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked. Call the number on your screen right now to take advantage of this special numismatic offer and bring this roll of 10 stunning silver piece dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition. Or get the roll of 20 silver piece dollars. Call now. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There is nothing I enjoy more than helping our clients build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high-grade, high-quality examples of certain hard-to-find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious private collections, coin shows, and dealer inventories across the country. All to help you build a numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative you would like to be connected with a member of the Private Advisory Coin Team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack, and James on Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. 
Benjamin Franklin, born on January 17, 1706, was a prominent founding father of the United States. His passion and dedication to our budding nation and his unresting diligence to his work were instrumental in America becoming an independent nation. Throughout his career, Franklin proved to be a prodigious inventor. He brought sight to those struggling to see through his invention of the bifocal. He warmed the homes of countless families on unforgiving winter nights through his invention of the Franklin stove. Franklin's undying interest in the sciences led him to his studies of electricity, where his monumental findings still affect our lives today. As one of the most influential Americans of the time period, Franklin was invited to be a member of the Committee of Five, whose responsibility it was to draft the Declaration of Independence. His diplomatic nature secured France as an ally during the Revolutionary War, eventually leading Franklin to his position as the United States Minister of France, where he dutifully negotiated the Treaty of Paris in 1783. This treaty ultimately aided in ending the American Revolutionary War. Unfortunately, Benjamin Franklin's life would end in 1790, but not before attending the Constitutional Convention, where he worked with other founding fathers in order to draft the document which our country is founded upon, the Constitution. In many ways, Benjamin Franklin provided the blueprint for our country to be built upon, so it's no surprise that he was chosen to be depicted on the half dollar from 1948 to 1963. The responsibility to design the Franklin Half Dollar fell onto John R. Sinnock, who was the eighth chief engraver of the United States Mint. The Franklin Half Dollar was Sinnock's final work before his death, and his most notable one as well. The Franklin Half Dollar was mandated by Congress for a 25-year issuance. Unfortunately, in 1964, due to the tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the Franklin Half Dollar was replaced after only 16 years. Here to tell you more about the 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tamaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy Half Dollars, citing extraordinary merit. Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and Mint State coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about the 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tamaska. This is the first time I believe I've been able to offer this set of proof Franklin Half Dollars, this size set in the condition I have them for you today. In fact, this is the highest matching grade you can complete a Franklin set in. What I have today is a Franklin set from 1955 to 1963, the last year the Franklin half dollar was struck, in NGC proof 68 condition. That's really important because it is not possible to complete a Franklin set in proof 69 condition because some Franklins do not exist in proof 69 condition. Take a look at this set, folks. This is something that in this kind of condition, as it says there on the PCGS website, it's all about condition with the Franklin half dollars. The coins were low mintage, but to get them surviving in this kind of extraordinarily high condition, the highest grade any Franklin has ever received is proof 69. And again, there are some dates in the series have, that have never been graded higher than 68. So what you're looking at is the highest matching grade you can complete your set in. And it's almost complete. It's every date from 1955 to 1963. The only dates we don't have in this set are the earliest dates in the series, 1950 to 1954. Every one is hand-selected by me. This is a true labor of love. Uh, the uh, amount of work I have to do, I call it in, in the trenches, just looking at literally thousands of Franklins across my desk every month 
to be able to assemble a few sets like you're looking at right now. This is a thrill, absolute thrill. On this occasion, I'm able to include the 1955. Are the minages of these proof Franklins. You've got minages for the mid-state Franklins and the proof Franklins. The mid-state Franklins refer to the Franklin half dollars that were struck for commerce, the kind of coins we use, you know, for spending. Proof Franklins are the coins that were used, struck specifically for collectors. They are meant to represent the state of the art, the highest possible quality the mint is able to produce given the technology of the day. So to do that, they will take the finest dyes, polish those dyes until they have a mirror-like perfection. They will treat the coin blanks with very special care. They will wash them and, and clean them and make sure they're the exact correct weight. And they'll slowly feed those blanks into the dye and strike the coins not once but twice under higher pressure to bring out every possible detail of the design. And then very importantly, mid-state coins are only struck once, and once they're struck, the mid-state coins are dumped into bins where they abrade with all the other coins. Proof coins are individually handled. They're not allowed to abrade with any other coins. So there's a lot of labor involved. And back during the Franklin era here, these coins were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. And proof making was really much more of an art, of a craft back then, and it really depended so much on the craftsmanship of the individual workers in preparing the dies, preparing the coin blanks. Nowadays, everything is pretty much automated. You know, technology has really taken over, computers have taken over. Craftsmanship is not a big issue. And that's what makes these high-grade proof Franklins from this earlier era so valuable. It's their condition rarity. And you can see, when you get into the 1960s, they struck about three million proof sets a year. But as you go into the 50s, how fewer and fewer proof sets were struck. Back in 1955, only 378,000 were struck. Now, why is that? Well, a little bit of a historical background. Um, our country, World War II ended in 1945. You had a lot of GIs coming back who were looking for employment. Uh, our country actually went into a bit of a depression after World War II because you had all these GIs looking for work. You had our industry, car manufacturers, which had been geared to making tanks and, and, and trucks and uh, airplanes for the war effort, now had to gear back into making automobiles. Uh, all our industry was geared toward the war effort. And, and so industry had to go from the war effort to a retooling to a peacetime economy. That, that took several years. But eventually, as you got into the late 40s, early 50s, we really started to get in, into gear. And this is where you st saw our middle class really begin to blossom and boom. As these young middle class families, uh, uh, the men and women, they uh, married, had children. Uh, as you got into the mid 50s, you saw this middle class begin to prosper, home ownership, Begin to, began to skyrocket. People were able to afford cars. They were able to afford TVs. And so more and more people were able to pursue their passions, like coin collecting. So you saw the demand for, for proof coins increase tremendously. Now, Sasha's got a couple coins to show you. Take a look at that 1961. That was a commercially struck coin. It's a mid-state Franklin. Struck for commercial use, it never did make it into commerce, so it's actually uncirculated. But you can see some abrasion on the coin because, again, they were dumped into bins. But it's a brilliant uncirculated coin with some light bag marks. And you'll also notice at the, at the very bottom there, because these coins were only struck once, a lot of these coins were not fully struck. So at the very bottom where there are supposed to be bell lines running horizontally across the bottom of the bell, you see at the center there that those bell lines fade out. They're, they're non-existent because the coin did not have a full enough strike to bring out all the detail of the coin. Now, right next to it, Sasha, has a 1958 proof Franklin. And you notice the deeply mirrored fields. Again, this coin was struck from a highly polished die. And these proof dies, folks, were only used for a few thousand strikes. And then they would remove the die and repolish it or discard it and put a new die in. Whereas 
the mid-state Franklins, they, they might strike 20, 30, 50,000 coins before they replace the die. You see the deeply mirrored fields, and you'll see the full strike. Uh, you can see along the bottom there, you can see all those bell lines along the bottom running horizontally that you could not see on that mid-state Franklin. Now, at the beginning of the presentation, I, I mentioned that the proof points were meant to represent the state of the art, the finest possible quality the mint's able to produce. However, the craftsmanship back then, the quality of the coin quite often depended on the level of craftsmanship of the individual workers. And you take a look at that 1958, and you'll notice all the spotting all over that coin. We refer to that as milk spots. That is one of the most common problems you'll see on proof coins from this era. What that is, folks, is soap residue. Because one of the procedures back then was to take the coin blanks and wash them in a soap solution. And they were then supposed to wash out all that soap solution off the blank before it went into the dye. But if the quality control, if the craftsmanship was not as good as it should have been, quite often a lot of that soap solution was left on the coin blank when it went into the dye. And when that dye came down with 200 tons of pressure onto that blank, that residue was struck into the coin. It's part of the coin. You can't remove it. You could take a Brillo pad, folks, to remove one of those spots, and all you'll end up with is a lot of scratches all over the coin, a ruined coin, and the spot will still be there. And I write about this in my very first book, Cameo and Brilliant Proof Coinage, on page 26. I talk about milk spots. Milk spots are most often found on the silver proof issues from 1958 to 1964. They can occur anywhere on the coin, and they can be any size. Some are as small as a pinhead. They can be extremely large, however, and occasionally may cover 25% or more of the coin's surface. Now, a couple years ago, I bought a group of 1958 sealed proof sets. And my longtime viewers will have seen me use these sealed sets before in other presentations. Because I bought these sets, they were sealed, never had been opened. And it's, you know, it's hard to believe. It is possible to occasionally find proof sets that are 60 years old that have never been opened. Now, there are very few of those kinds of sets left, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But this was an original deal, and I bought the deal, and after I had opened 10 or 15 of the sets, every one of the halves was spotted, and I just knew it was one of those batches where, you know, whoever was working that day at the Mint wasn't doing a very good job cleaning the coin blanks. And so for my presentations, I've always, you know, opened one, one or two of these sets to show you what, exactly what I'm talking about. Now, again, I started with just about 100 sets when I had this. I'm down to around 19 or 20 unopened sets, folks. So <laughs> I'm about done with, with this, with this uh, tool, but it's a very important part of the presentation to help you understand why these high-grade proof Franklins are so special and so rare. So I've just taken a few of the sealed sets, the final sets that I have, Remaining, I'm going to just take one of them, and we're going to open one right here, live on the presentation. And, you know, this is the part of collecting that's so much fun, because you never know what you're going to get. You never know when you get something like this, you know, 60 years old, never been opened. We'll just cut it open at, along the top here, very carefully, so as not to... This is how the original sets came from the mint back then, in these envelopes. And there would be cardboard on each side, and this cellophane set would, coins would be housed like so, each in their individual compartments so they wouldn't abrade with any other coins. And you would get a little letter in here, and I always find this kind of humorous, uh, talking about your U.S. proof coins. And you can tell by the age how it's, you know, how it's discolored at the e uh, edges there. Um, how about, about how your U.S. proof coins have been carefully inspected before release. These people, you know, had a sense of humor, I guess. Um, 
If there should be a de appear to be a defect on the coin, it is no doubt a crease in the polyethylene coated cellophane in which they are encased. We tell you this to save us both unnecessary correspondence. Thank you. Uh, signed by, wasn't signed, but uh, typed out uh, Ray V. Beaster, the superintendent at the time. I hope I pronounced her name co uh, correctly. Anyhow, we just cut out this set. Here's the set, and it looks pretty nice. It's hard to see any uh, obvious imperfections looking through the cellophane. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at this and let's see what's on this coin. Oh boy, this is uh, this is when it's hit pretty hard. <laughs> a lot of spots all over the obverse. And again, they're random. They could be any size. They could be as small as a pinhead. As I read, they could be incredibly large. The reverse doesn't have quite as many, but you see some really obvious ones. If you submitted this to grading, folks, it would grade. Uh, they might not even grade it. You have these original minages. And what's out there is what we have. That's when I, when I wrote my first book. I had population estimates of how many may exist in every grade if you were to find every coin that was ever struck of that year and have it graded. And that's what's going to be on my, in my next book on the United States proof coins. Again, total population estimates as to how many may exist. Not how many were graded, but how many could possibly exist. You can't mine more of these coins. The number struck is the number there is. These are the combined populations, and you can see here uh, the minages, how many have been graded in 6, 7, and how many have been graded in the 6, 8 grade that I have for you today. And you can see that minages quite often have nothing to do with the rarity of the coin in proof 68. For example, the 58, one of the toughest dates, only 2,700 coins graded. The 59, a very tough coin. The 60, a, a very tough coin. They're all really tough, folks. There are, there are times when I have zero 1958s, zero 1956s, 59s, 60s, 61s, and, or 62s in proof 68. But for this brief time, I have these complete sets in proof 68 condition. I have them at a great price. Here's the great thing about this set, folks. This is the highest grade matching set. I have this set at a great price that is a must-buy opportunity. The demand for high-grade Franklins is such that you're seeing record prices almost every month. Just this 1950 was $45,000. Here's a 51 that went for over $80,000. Here's a 1958 that went for $33,000. Here's a 1961 that went for $41,000, $40,800. A number one set right now is probably about a half million dollar set. Uh, a set that's in the, you know, that's number two, number three, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nice proof 68 Franklins. There's a 1957 top rated seller, $789 for a 57. This one was more recent. This, this is just, uh, I just saw this one on eBay just a week ago, over seventeen hundred dollars just for the nineteen fifty seven, seventeen hundred dollars NGC proof sixty eight, another top rated star fifty eight, over a thousand dollars, fifty nine over a thousand dollars. These prices that you're seeing here are a little more typical. I couldn't find a fifty five in proof sixty eight. I found a comp in six seven. I put that in there. These are top rated sellers. You add all that up, it's over sixty seven hundred dollars for the set. $6,700 for the set, or approximately $700 a coin. Take a look at these. Call in now, folks. The 1955 to 1963. A limited time offer while I have these. This is the perfect grade for these sets, a perfect price point, because a number one set is, you know, is, is a half million dollar set. Something way, way up there in quality, number two, number three set, you're talking a few hundred thousand dollars. I've got this nine coin set at less than $300 a coin. $300 a coin would become to $2,700. $200 a coin comes to $1,800. I've got the entire nine coin set, and I can only do this because this is my area of specialization. I cut out all the middlemen. I go through the coins myself, one coin at a time. Tens of thousands of proof Franklins a month cross my desk. 
and only the finest get submitted, and I get to pass the savings on to you. $1,595 for the entire nine coin set. Call in now. It is so difficult putting these together. You saw the populations on these. There are so few Franklins graded in Proof 68, far less than 1% of the total mintage in Proof 68 condition. And again, this is the highest matching grade set you can complete in Franklin half dollars. You cannot complete this set in Proof 69 because there are some Franklin dates that do not exist in Proof 69. I've got the set today, $1,595. Folks, the grading fees alone, if you were to try and assemble one of these sets on your own, the minimum grading fee is $20. They charge $8 handling fee. There's a shipping fee. Everything is shipped registered mail. Just to have them graded and ship it back is over $50. You have to ship it to them. You have to pay for the coin. So if you're trying to assemble this set yourself, it's, it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars or more. And you're not going to get Proof 68s. Proof 68s are so hard to come by. You're essentially talking about a perfect coin. Hairline free, uh, spot free. These coins are just the absolute epitome of quality. I can't do any better than this. This is the best I can do. The first time ever I've offered this complete set and here I've got the set where I'm including the 1955, the entire set for $1,595. And I forgot to mention, you will get a free soft cover third edition of my latest book on Franklin and Kennedy half dollars. This will be included with your set, Franklin and Kennedy half dollars soft cover third edition with every Proof 68 set you acquire. I have a very limited number of these sets. 68 sets I rarely get to offer. In fact, I have never been able to offer this set from 1955 to 1963, this particular set in Proof 68 condition. This is just a sensational, sensational set. And again, to be able to offer it for $1,595 is the perfect price point and the perfect grade because you're getting such high quality, so much rarity for the lowest possible price, $177 a coin. There are you know, record prices every day being established by, uh, for these, these amazing, nice Franklin half dollars. Not too long ago, I'm gonna be closing it out right here. Most recently, there was a Franklin that sold an auction for over $100,000. This is something I was predicting decades ago, that there would come a time when really exceptional Franklins sell for over $1,000, sell for six figures. And it finally happened. It was a 1958 Franklin, it was a mid-state Franklin, and 6.7 plus, sold for $129,250. First ever Franklin to sell over $100,000 in auction. It feels so good, feels so good when you get something, you're able to get something that you know has incredible quality for the date, incredible rarity for the date, and tremendous eye appeal. And when you can get it at a rock bottom price, this is a set that I've put together, these sets. I go through them myself, you know, I'm, I'm a coin guy. You know, I grade them myself, I review them myself when I submit these coins. There's a lot of man hours involved. And when I do the work and I can cut out all the middlemen, and then pass the savings on to you. You know, this is how we build our clientele here at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, RCTV. You know, we cut out all the middlemen, and when we can get something at a great price, we pass it on to you. The last half dollar series struck entirely 90% silver. The last proof half dollar series struck at the old Philadelphia Mint using those old technologies where you had actual craftsmen you know, preparing the dies, preparing the coin blanks. Because of that, you had quality control issues because you had some craftsmen who were better than others. So to get a proof Franklin surviving in this kind of condition is extraordinary when you can get this set. I'm gonna cut it right here because again, I have a limited number of these sets. This is a great set to pass on to your kids, your grandkids. It's really a classic.
It's a classic in 20th century United States coinage. It's one of the greatest half dollar sets you can assemble at just a great, great ground floor opportunity price. It's a Rick special. Thank you for watching. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading service in the country, NGC. This guarantees you that the coins you get from us are the grades that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. These 1955 to 1963 Franklin half dollars that Rick is offering today come in proof 68 quality. That's the quality of a superb gem uncirculated coin. Proof coins are made specifically for collectors. They are struck two or three times to ensure a beautiful full strike. These coins are individually handled and packaged immediately, so they will retain all of their beauty and quality. Due to primitive technology and packaging issues, many of the Franklin half dollars minted during these times are tarnished with unsightly toning, making superb gem quality Franklins like these a true numismatic rarity. The proof 68 populations of each of these nine Franklin half dollars make up less than 1% of their respective mintages. That's what Rick calls condition rarity. Condition rarity is achieved when only a very small percentage of a coin's total mintage survives in high quality. And listen to this. This set of stunning Franklin half dollars includes an impressive nine of the 14 total proof issues of this coin series. That's a nearly full set of proof Franklin half dollars, all in practically flawless, superb gem uncirculated condition. Wow! And now today, you can add this set of 1955 to 1963 Franklin half dollars to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $1,595. And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put a half down now of $797.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete full 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. But wait, there's more. When you order a set of nine 1955 to 1963 Franklin half dollars, you will also receive a soft cover third edition of Rick Tamaska's A Guidebook of Franklin and Kennedy half dollars. That's a $20 value absolutely free. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited time offer. Make sure to tap into the tremendous numismatic potential of the Franklin Half Dollar Series today. Call the number on your screen right now and add this set of nine stunning 1955 to 1963 Franklin Half Dollars Improved 68 Condition to your numismatic collection for two low payments of just $797.50. Call now. The proceeding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. There's nothing I enjoy more than helping our viewers build the coin collections of their dreams. Are you looking to assemble a complete collection of coins but are having difficulty finding the rare ones you're missing? Do you need guidance in locating and acquiring high-grade, high-quality examples of certain hard-to-find coins? That's why Rick's U.S. Coin Show has introduced the Private Advisory Coin Team. Rick and Jack deal with many high-end coins for private collections that are not shown on our regular TV show. And now you can have access to these coins, too. With the collective wisdom of our team and the breadth of our relationships at Rick's U.S. Coin Show, we have access to the most prestigious coin shows, private collections, and dealer inventories across the country. All to help you build the numismatic coin collection of your dreams. The Private Advisory Coin Team is for those collectors who seek those ultra super rare and hard to find coins that you only read about in numismatic books. 
If you're interested in learning more about some of the rarest and most valuable coins known, call the number on your screen and tell our customer service representative that you would like to be connected with a member of our private advisory coin team. And be sure to keep watching Rick, Jack, and James on Rick's U.S. Coin Show, right here on Rare Collectibles TV. The following is a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. Our country was founded on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Representing this idealism is our American Eagle. The bald eagle was chosen in 1782 to represent the United States because of its long life, majestic looks, and great strength. The eagle has since become part of our country's national emblem. In 1986, the U.S. Mint had a large surplus of silver, and President Reagan signed a bill to produce a new silver dollar. It was called the American Silver Eagle. The obverse design for the American Silver Eagle was adapted from one of the most beloved U.S. coin designs, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, designed by Adolf Weinman and minted from 1916 to 1947. The obverse of the coin portrays Lady Liberty striding towards the sun. This represents a new day, hope, and prosperity. Liberty is draped in the American flag, flowing from behind her and wrapping around to her feet. Her right arm is outstretched as an open, helping hand. In her left hand, she holds branches of laurel and oak, symbolic of civil and military glory. The obverse also features the word liberty that stretches halfway around the top of the coin. It was 39 years later that Weinman's design returned on the obverse of the American Silver Eagle. U.S. Mint chief engraver John Mercanti adopted the legendary design but also strengthened many of the coin's details. Having better technology in the 1980s, he was able to put more definition into Lady Liberty, which resulted in a more bold and dramatic strike than the original Walking Liberty coin. The reverse of the American Silver Eagle was also designed by Mercanti and portrays a heraldic eagle behind a shield. The eagle is clutching an olive branch in one talon and arrows in the other, which resembles the Great Seal of the United States. Above the eagle are 13 stars, representing the 13 original colonies, and the eagle holds a banner with the saying, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. When I was working on the design for the eagle, I, I never in my wild imagination knew that uh, it would be such a long-lasting coin. and I just knew I wanted something uh, classical and sophisticated to do to, for that design because I knew that uh, Weinman's reverse was on the obverse. I've done a lot of research on Weinman. I had a lot of respect for Weinman. So uh, having all these years, you know, partnering with, with him on that coin has been very special to me. The American Silver Eagle is the largest U.S. silver dollar. It is struck in one troy ounce size and is guaranteed to be 99.9% .9 silver. On July 9th, 1985, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act. Just a year and four months later, on October 29, 1986, the first American Silver Eagle was struck. Since 1986, this coin has displayed 12th Chief Engraver of the U.S. Mint, John Mercanti's beloved heraldic eagle design. But in 2021, this iconic design will be retired, never to be struck onto an American Silver Eagle again. This truly marks the end of an era. Here to tell you more about this complete set of American Silver Eagles to display the heraldic eagle reverse is coin expert and numismatic author, Rick Tomaska. Rick is a coin collector with an extraordinary passion for numismatics. Rick Tomaska has written six books on rare coins. His first book helped to establish the Cameo and Deep Cameo standards used by PCGS today, as well as the Ultra Cameo standard currently used by NGC. After the success of his first book, dealers began calling him the Cameo King. His second book was the catalyst for establishing the full bell line standard for Mint State Franklin Half Dollars. He was also awarded a Numismatic Literary Guild Award for his fourth book on Franklin and Kennedy Half Dollars, citing extraordinary merit. 
Many of Rick's clients own some of the finest proof and mint state coin collections in the United States. Rick Tamaska is also one of the best coin buyers in the country. This translates into huge savings for his clients. Here to tell you more about this complete set of American Silver Eagles to display the heraldic Eagle Reverse is coin expert and numismatic author Rick Tamaska. If you are tuning in for the first time, well, you have an impeccable sense of timing. Because what I have for you is what will rank as among the most important collections of the 21st century of United States minted rare coins in terms of their historical significance to our country, their incredible beauty. Without question, this is one of the most beautiful coins ever struck by the United States Mint. And the dimensions of the coin, this is the largest silver dollar ever struck by the United States Mint. And it's not struck in clad metal like all of the coins you find in your change, but they're struck in 999, 0.999, pure silver mined in America. These sets I have for you today are literally the perfect grade for you at this perfect price point. Take a look at this entire set Every year of the heraldic American Silver Eagle, from the very first year they were struck in 1986 to the last year of the American Silver Eagle with the heraldic Eagle Reverse, the 2021. Take a look at every one of these coins, folks. Every coin, flawless to the eye, in mint state 69 condition. Again, this is the perfect grade at the perfect price point for this spellbinding collection of United States silver dollars. And most importantly, this set represents the end of an era with this heraldic eagle reverse. This series has grown to be the most widely collected silver dollar series in all of United States numismatics. Now, the reason your timing is so perfect, in the year 2021, the United States Mint made United States numismatic history with an announcement. It was the headline in publications across our nation. New American Eagle Reverse Design debuts in 2021. And right below it, you see original American Silver Eagle Design with the Heraldic Eagle, a Mercanti masterpiece. John Mercanti was the chief engraver at the United States Mint who helped design this American Silver Eagle coin. Here's another article, Type Two American Silver Eagles coming soon. This article came out in 2021. You see the heraldic eagle on, on the left there, the Type Two reverse debuting in the year 2021. The American Silver Eagle dollar series, first struck in 1986. That coin design as we have come to know it receives a major redesign in 2021. While the obverse of the coin will continue on with the classic Walking Liberty design, designed by Adolf Weinman and first introduced on the half dollar struck in 1916, that obverse design will continue on. The reverse of the coin, however, with the famous heraldic eagle designed by the last chief engraver of the United States Mint, John Mercanti, will be no more. The classic heraldic eagle reverse. The heraldic eagle first appeared on our silver dollars in 1798, folks. And the heraldic eagle is actually taken from the great seal of the United States. The chief engraver, John Mercanti, chose to recreate that classic heraldic eagle for the reverse of the new American Silver Eagle dollars when they first came out in 1986. Now, why is the American Silver Eagle so beloved, so desirable among collectors and non-collectors alike? Well, first of all, the American Silver Eagle is a full ounce of silver mined in the United States of America. All previous silver dollars 
the Morgan dollar, the peace dollar, were 90% silver, containing 0.774 of an ounce of silver. Now this Morgan dollar is quite worn, but you could see the significant difference in size of the two coins. Plus the Morgan dollar is 90% silver, while this American silver eagle is essentially pure silver. But as importantly as the silver cut are the great classical themes of the American silver eagle. You look at the obverse of this coin, folks. It's the perfect marriage of beautiful art with great American symbolism and meaning. This incredibly inspirational image, liberty, struck with the most advanced minting technology, the finest craftsmen, given the responsibility of turning this great art into the most beautiful, perfect embodiment of our nation's great heritage. The obverse actually has its origins with the 1916 Walking Liberty Half Dollar designed by Adolf Weinman. On the obverse were the words liberty across the perimeter. In God We Trust at around 4 o'clock. And then on the reverse, the United States of America. I was struck by the words, the symbolism, this graceful flowing image of Lady Liberty striding across the landscape, her right hand outstretched in a gesture of hope, freedom, and peace, the sun rising on the horizon. This classic was last struck in 1947. Given the technology of the day back then, and the high level of detail of the design, it proved a difficult coin to fully strike. As a result, most of these coins, even in an uncirculated condition, lack all the design detail the mint intended. Now, let's take a look at this first coin in this end of an era collection. The 1986 American Silver Eagle that we have here in Mint State 69, every detail no matter how small, folks, how intricate. The fingers in Liberty's left hand, which you can't see on the early Walking Liberty half dollars because it was flat. The fingers in her left hand are fully struck up. The stars in old glory. The folds in her gown, fully struck in high relief. And this perfect, a coin of this size without marks, it's a miracle. Because, folks, these coins were not individually handled. If you ordered a roll of these coins, they came in a tube like this. This is an actual tube that came from the mint of Mint State American Silver Eagles. They were struck and they were thrown into tubes. You open the tubes, and of course, from a braiding with other coins in the minting process, nearly all of them would have marks. Here's a 1998, and you can see there's a little spot there by In God We Trust, but mo most importantly, you see the marks above In God We Trust, the abrasion. That's what makes this flawless American Silver Eagle collection so impressive. This extremely large silver coin requiring tremendous die pressure, far more die pressure than was available in 1947. And then to survive, abrading with all those other large silver dollars in condition that's flawless to the eye, Mint State 69. And then, of course, there is the heraldic eagle reverse. This heraldic eagle reverse, the heraldic eagle, again, which first appeared on our silver dollars in 1798, the heraldic eagle is used for the great seal of the United States. That heraldic eagle first appeared in 1798. It's been almost 200 years since it's appeared again on a silver dollar. It really was the perfect choice when Chief Engraver John Mercanti used this classic for the American Eagle. 2021 is the last year the heraldic eagle appears on the American Silver Eagle dollar. Listen to this, folks. When the Mint announced that for the final year, of the American Silver Eagle with the Heraldic Eagle Reverse 2021. 
when they announced that they would strike 320,000 examples in proof condition of the last year of the heraldic eagle. In the announcement, the Mint informed the public that this final year with the heraldic eagle reverse in proof condition would go on sale at 9 a.m. Pacific time, February 11th, 2021. At 9.03 a.m., February 11th, 2021, a full three minutes later, the Mint announced they were sold out. The entire commitment of 320,000 coins in proof condition in less than three minutes. Never in the history of the United States Mint has a coin sold out this quickly. Folks, this translates to an army of new collectors attracted to this incredibly popular series. This series continues to grow in popularity with each passing year. As the series continues on, these beautiful classic silver dollars, here's the most important part and what makes this set so important to you. With all these millions of new collectors entering the market, getting involved in the American Silver Eagle series, of the greatest importance is that the earlier dates are the rarest dates in high grade mint state 69 condition. These earlier dates with the heraldic eagle reverse will be the dates in the greatest demand because the quality control in these earlier years simply was not what it is today at the United States Mint. Now here's this entire 36 coin heraldic eagle set in mint state 69, an extraordinary condition. Most of these American silver eagles, especially those struck before the year 2015, are flawed to some degree because again, the technology, the processes, the procedures in striking these coins was not as state of the art as it is today. To get a set like this, flawless to the eye in mint state 69, Folks, at the price I have this set at today, this is a limited time offer. There are so many dates in this set that are so elusive, so rare in this condition, flawless to the eye. And I like to say the best part of all, again, is the price, because this set is not based on what the market will bear. It's based on our cost. You can shop around. Here's a 2008 Mint State 69, $495. Here's a 2004, again, Mint State 69, $1,400. So we're already at around $1,900 for those two coins. Here's another, a 2001. $384, dealer with 100% positive feedback. We go a little farther back in time, a 1999, $349. Here's a 1996, $591. A 1994, tough date, $417 for a mint state 69. Remember, there's 36 coins in this set well, here's a 1993 in Mint State 69, $1,400 for just that one coin. Here's one more, a 1990, $346. Now, those are just eight coins, folks. The set has 36 coins, and we're already at $5,382 out of those eight dates in this 36-coin set. This is the perfect grade in Mint State 69. Here we have this perfect set, folks. The complete heraldic eagle set, all 36 dates. But this set, again, is not based on what the market will bear. Our price always is based on our cost. We do the work, we put in the time, 
we look through the tens of thousands of American silver eagles to find that occasional needle in the haystack. And we put our hard work into savings for you, hand selecting the very finest examples to be able to put this set together today at this price, folks. The entire 36 coin set, while we have them, this is a limited time offer at this price. Because today, this entire set is only $2,995 for the entire 36 coin set. That comes out to $83.19 a coin. These early heraldic eagles, if you try to assemble a set of this quality by yourself, buying original rolls to look for those occasional Min State 69s, folks, you could be doing this for the next 20 years, and it's gonna cost you a lot more than $29.95. This is a really, really difficult set to assemble, and it only makes sense. Again, these American Silver Eagles are so much larger than Morgan Dollars. The coins were not individually handled once they were struck, one coin of braiding with one another. To survive in this condition, fully struck, without spots, without bag marks or abrasions from other coins, mint state 69, flawless to the eye. For those of you new to numismatics, you're probably asking, well, that sounds great, Rick, but what exactly is an MS-69? Well, rare coins are graded on the 70-point Sheldon grading standard. From a low of one, which would be a very, very heavily worn coin where you could barely read the date, to a high of 70, which represents a coin that's flawless under high magnification. Now, to give you an idea of how rare a 70 is, if you look at United States coins struck before 1960, for example, of the billions and billions and billions of United States coins struck before 1960, not a single coin has ever graded Mint State 70. These American Eagles, to get a grade of Mint State 69, the graders at NGC will study the coin under magnification. If it looks flawless under normal magnification, they put the coin aside and then study it under even higher magnification. If they still don't see a flaw, it would grade seven. So in other words, these coins are essentially flawless to the eye, folks. This is how extraordinary to get a silver dollar, these are large American silver eagles, larger than Morgan dollars, this really large silver coin. They weren't individually handled. They were allowed to braid with all the other coins when they were struck. To get it in this condition where it's flawless to the eye, they are so rare and so highly sought after. It makes perfect sense. You don't have to be a coin expert to understand why these coins are so rare. And the best news of all, we have it on a two payment option. So if you can't swing the entire amount today, put half down today of only $1,497.50 and we'll hold one of these sets for you. And that's critically important because we have a limited supply at this price. You can pay the balance in 30 days. This truly is a must buy opportunity. This classic American Silver Eagle set with the heraldic eagle reverse. Again, 2021 is the last American Silver Eagle with the heraldic eagle reverse. And it's these earlier American Silver Eagles that are the rarest in high grade condition. All those future collectors of American Silver Eagles, as this series continues on into the future, into the year 2025, year 2030, this is the most popular silver dollar series in the history of the United States Mint. 
So to get this set now, these early dates, these are the tough dates. These are the dates that will be most demand in the years and decades ahead. This is a set you want to put away for your kids, your grandkids. This is a set that is a true national treasure. It's what this country is all about, that walking Liberty obverse, the heraldic eagle reverse, these beautiful, magnificent silver dollars, the entire 36 coin set, all for only two payments of $1,497.50. I truly hope you can take advantage of it. This is a set that will be very, very good to you. Thank you for watching. Most of the graded coins that we sell on Rick's U.S. Coin Show are graded by the leading coin grading service in the country, NGC. This guarantees you that the coin you get from us is the grade that we promise. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale from 1 to 70. A heavily circulated coin might rate a 4 for good or a 12 for fine. The better quality the coin, the higher the grade. An AU, about uncirculated coin, would rate between 50 and 60. This complete set of 1986 to 2021 American Silver Eagles that Rick is offering today comes in mint state 69 condition. That is the grade of a superb gem uncirculated coin. On July 9, 1985, President Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act. Just a year and four months later, on October 29, 1986, the first American Silver Eagle was struck. The stunning American Silver Eagle is the largest silver dollar produced in U.S. history. And listen to this, it struck from .999 fine pure silver. That's right, pure silver. Ever since its release 35 years ago, the American Silver Eagle has become a global numismatic sensation. This stunning coin displays John Mercanti's enhanced rendition of Adolf A. Weinman's iconic Walking Liberty design on the obverse and Mercanti's personal design of a victorious heraldic eagle on the reverse. The year 2021 marks the final issue of the American Silver Eagle that will feature Mercanti's heraldic eagle design on the reverse. This truly signals the end of an era. Now today, you can add this ultimate collection of American Silver Eagles from 1986 to 2021 to your numismatic collection for the low, low price of just $2,995. That's right, every standard issue American Silver Eagle to display John Mercanti's legendary heraldic design, all in Mint State 69 condition, for less than $84 a coin. Wow! And don't forget, you can use our convenient two payment plan. Simply put half down now of $1,497.50 and then pay the balance in 30 days. It's just that easy. And you can order with complete numismatic confidence as Rare Collectibles TV offers you a complete, full, 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. These coins are in limited supply, and this is a limited-time offer. At a price like this, these coins won't last long. Call now. The preceding was a paid presentation furnished by Rare Collectibles TV, LLC. Hi, I'm Rick Tomaska, and this is Rare Collectibles TV. Each week, I bring you Rick's U.S. Coin Show, featuring rare, unique, and collectible coins showcasing our country's numismatic history. I've been a coin collector all my life who happens to talk each week on TV about coins. I'm not a salesperson up here on TV selling coins. Rather, I'm a coin guy on TV, hopefully sharing all the information I've learned about coins during the last 35 years. To me, coins are about history, quality, numismatic passion, our heritage. Our goal here at Rare Collectibles TV is to share our knowledge, our years and decades of experience with you, the viewer. And hopefully in the short presentations we give you, you can learn something that has taken us 30, 35 years to learn. And even if you don't buy a single coin, if you've learned something, it's all good.
Jack, what you doing? Oh, I'm just cutting out the middleman. That's what we do, folks. Cutting out the middleman and passing the savings on to you at Rick's U.S. Coin Show. The following is a paid presentation brought to you by Rare Collectibles TV. The United States Mint has been dedicated to producing the finest numismatic coins since its inception in 1792. Throughout its 228 years of service, the U.S. Mint has introduced countless pieces of coinage that have stunned the world. From the St. Gardens Gold Double Eagle to the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, the designs created by the United States Mint are globally renowned for their artistic endeavors. And in 2017, in honor of the United States Mint's 225th anniversary, the Mint has yet again produced one of the most mesmerizing coin designs to ever grace American coinage. The obverse of this remarkable coin showcases an African-American rendition of Lady Liberty adorned by a crown of stars. As the first United States coin to depict a rendition of Lady Liberty as an African-American woman, these stunning examples truly are historic numismatic treasures. The reverse of this coin is equally as beautiful as it displays a majestic American Eagle mid-flight. With fields that are practically unencumbered by unnecessary design elements, this Eagle truly seems to be flying through an open sky. And the best part is that this 2017 Silver Liberty coin design was produced at four mint branches with four unique finishes. These four coin sets include a proof example struck at the San Francisco Mint, a reverse proof example struck at the Philadelphia Mint, an uncirculated example struck at the Denver Mint, and an enhanced uncirculated example struck at the West Point Mint. That's not all. Each of these four coins is struck from pure .999 fine silver. That's four ounces of pure silver. And listen to this. There were only a limited 50,000 of these coins struck, making them tremendous rarities. And because of their low mintages and immense popularity, these sets of Lady Liberty coins completely sold out from the United States Mint. Yes, completely sold out. And now today, Rare Collectibles TV has a limited amount of these iconic Silver Liberty coin sets available. And here to tell you more about the remarkable 2017 Liberty coin set is coin expert, James Gerstel. James is a coin collector and a numismatic expert that has a fervent passion for American coinage. With over 40 years in the field of numismatics, James has gained encyclopedic insight into all there is to know about coins, from Morgan dollars to American silver eagles. You know, I just love the art of coin design, so it's one of the great things about coin collecting, that you get so much diversification in art, in designers and sculptors, and periods of history, and it's a numismatic walk down memory lane of the history of America. The trust which people put in James has led to his designing of the 2015 Panda Coin, which was issued to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the renowned Florida United Numismatic Show. James is also known for his discerning eye when it comes to selecting beautiful, rare coins. Over the course of his career, James has become an expert in all American dollars, particularly Morgans, Peace Dollars, Ikes, and American Silver Eagles. With so much to offer, it's no wonder why James is a host on Rick's U.S. Coin Show. And here to tell you more about the remarkable 2017 Liberty coin set is coin expert James Gerstel. 225 years. That was an anniversary that was recently celebrated by the United States Mint. And that was in 2017. Chartered in 1792. So in 2017, to honor the 225th anniversary of the U.S. Mint, something very, very special was issued from our government. It features a silver 